Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, Zero your best page. source for the newest Zero Atari 2600 and 7800 games broadcasting in glorious 60 frames per second. Uh, thank you to Nathan Strum who subscribed <laughs> right when I started talking. <laughs> but it, seriously, yes, thank you for subscribing. 22 months. Wow. Wow, that is amazing. We have a very special show for all of you. We have a world exclusive premiere of Not a Game. It's movies on your 2600. <laughs> now, everybody thought this was a April Fool's joke. And they're making me think it's an April Fool's joke. <laughs> because it's... Oh, oh metal, metal level, thank you for following. Um, but I'm going to be opening it live because I haven't seen it. So it's going to be an April Fool's joke on me. Yes. If it is one. So it's not yeah. coming for me if this isn't real. <laughs> But, uh, yes, we have uh, the exclusive world premiere of Movie Cart mm. uh, by Low Def Mode. Um, and this is full-length movies on a cartridge. You put into your VCS, turn it on, and it plays the full movie with audio. That's insane. It's insane. That's it's insane. insane. <laughs> what, what has been happening this yeah. last year or so with 2600 is just, it's insane. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what movies he sent me. Uh, we're also going to be playing, uh, the exclusive world premiere of Doom 2600. Very cool. Uh, by the Major Havoc, who I believe I saw yeah, in he's... here as well. Yep, they're in there. Um, and we're going to be playing Paint the City, which was, uh, updated recently by Splendid Nut. Excellent. Um, I saw Splendid Nut in there too. Yep, they're all in here. Excellent. Uh, Immunity, uh, by, uh... Soul, uh, who is in the chat as well. Awesome. And an update to Robot Z by Sprybug, who is in the chat as well. I think <laughs> every single person, yeah. every single developer is in the chat tonight. That's so awesome. Which is That's very really exciting. fun. Yeah. So we've got lots of brand new things for you tonight. Yeah. And Spiceware is here as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, th I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. 8-Bit Swami, Al Nefer, Armscar, Coder, Kaftman, 2D, Canadian Tenor Catalogs, Coconut, Dianoid, Dan, VC, Drexel, Emu, Dan, Great Defender, Ar Ground Trip Orger, Rapper, Johnny, WC, One, Yorada, Jupiter, Storm, Carl, G, Kev, Kelly, Croco, Leo, The Low, Mark, Space, Inc., Metal, Atari, Mick, Muse, Miss Command, MK, Smith, Mr. Fix, Mr. Zarner, Whoop, uh, Muddy, Funster, Pack, Rat, Quahog, RC70, Repentless, VG, Ricardo, Pim, Six, Sweet, Smitty, Beam, Socrates, Spice, Rose, 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 DJ, Welshman, Tiki, Dan, Gay, and thank you to Pack, Rat, VG, for just subscribing. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> under the wire <laughs> under the wire so if you have subscribed and don't see your name on the list yes. um you need to resubscribe or don't <laughs> no um but you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your amazon prime to your twitch prime and click subscribe and make sure you follow and click like and all the things on all the different platforms of social media because then you get alerted about special special shows like this one of a kind first ever things like full length movies on your 2600 this is insane yeah um i i have to say one of the things that i'm kind of i i would laugh out loud but i think would be really funny is if you got yes. rickrolled <laughs> it could happen there is a chance of that there is a chance of that do 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 who the toms kick in yeah um mm -hmm. so we do have a poll tonight um and the poll topic is when do you normally start playing a new homebrew game um so let me start up the options here so everybody can start voting on it there we go and i changed the colors because last time i put one up it was the colors were like really hard to read especially after the poll was done so i've changed the colors it's a little bit smaller on the screen but that's okay um so when do you normally start playing a new homebrew game uh every work in progress binary the dev releases that would be me <laughs> the so moment gonna, it comes out the moment it comes out every single binary i check them all out so i'm gonna put one um <laughs> Uh, the next one is occasional work in progress releases. Not every one, but, you know, once in a while, they'll pop it in and see how it's going. Mm. Uh, number three is near completion, like release candidate versions. It's like, okay, I've done all, all it's all in there. Yeah. You and want it's it just bug testing. Almost completely done. Yeah. Kind of thing. So you yeah. get a good idea of what's happening. Yeah. It. 
Um, and the fourth option is only when his game is fully completed and released. Because some people are like, I just want to see it when it's done. Mm -hmm. I don't want to encounter bugs or, you know, I just want to have the full, full game. Um, Nathan Strum said, number one, if I'm working on the game. Yeah. That's, a, that's good advice. Yeah. yeah, if you're working on the game, you probably want to play every iteration. Mm -hmm. And then four if I'm not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. When it's fully released. There's a couple of fours in there. A couple mm -hmm. of fours. Yeah. Um, so we've got some mail to open while Yay. we are waiting for those votes to come in. Um, now, I know what this is. Or I hope what's in here uh, is what I'm expecting. Um, now, I got this off eBay, and it was a bit of a risk mm -hmm. because... There was a lot of discussion beforehand before this purchase got made. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, it is something I've been looking for for years and years and years and years and yes. years. So we're um, hoping that it works out. Yeah, but... This could be a disappointment, so... <laughs> it was... Posted by somebody who has zero reputation. In, on, on eBay. On eBay. Yeah, that's always and a this little was, dodgy. <laughs> it is because they haven't sold anything and they haven't bought anything mm. and gotten feedback. Um, so they had zero, which is like, ugh. And this is not a small purchase. It is a, not a huge purchase, but not a small purchase. Mm. Um, so I was like, okay, well, the price I finished buying it for mm -hmm. um was significantly less than you'd normally pay yeah 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 and i'm guessing it's because he had zero reputation <laughs> <laughs> um and he was selling a block a, of wood a yeah. of, uh, small yeah. block of wood yeah. yeah um he was selling a number of these okay at the same time yeah so i was like oh okay and that's all he was selling like three or four of these yeah not the same exact one but different variations mm. um I'll, I'll tell you what it is it is a game and watch um it's the last one that i really really want on my that's on my list it's zelda game and watch mm. um the super mario brothers was the second to last one and i got that recently locally um and so, yeah, Zelda is supposed to be a really, really good one. And every um, gameplay I've seen is, it looks good. But he sold like three higher end ones and they looked like unique pictures. I did reverse image searches. Mm. So it didn't like, oh, he just stole pictures from somewhere else. Yeah, and, well, that's good. Um, and then while it was shipping, <laughs> <laughs> he got uh, like a uh, reputation, I guess, or whatever. Yeah, people were were, were, were putting in um, um, uh, feedback reviews or were, yeah of him, and two came in and they said yes, positive. Things. They got it, and I was the last one to get it. So yeah, it is normally about three hundred dollars plus. It's just like it's US not in the box, kind of. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. US, it, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, that's that's a, li a bit foreboding. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> It's like, wrapped in paper. It's wrapped in paper and it says Zelda on it. <laughs> as if I don't believe what he sent. <laughs> well, it feels about right. <laughs> Still could be a piece of wood. It could be. Zelda shaped piece of wood. Um, ah, drum roll, please. Look at Mr. Mike. <laughs> no, I got it for a lot less than 300. Um, yeah. So as I think you it was say, just over 200. Yeah. Which is like, oh my God. Well, it's green. Bunchy. Already, there are other green game of watches. It better be matching a uh, battery cover because it was on the picture. Oh. It looks real. The battery cover color is right. It was immaculate, too. Mm. There we go. Zelda Very nice. game and watch. It is immaculate. Wow, immaculate. Wow. Oh. Yeah, so let me switch over so you guys can see it. <laughs> um, so I'm really happy about this yeah. purchase. I'm glad it didn't uh, blow up in your face, uh, figuratively oh, or even literally. Batteries <laughs> even batteries in it, so that's happy times. Oh, it looks really good. It is just immaculate. Nice. There's the battery nice. cover. Just without the box, someone said, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, I usually don't get boxes because it's just clutter. So. And it's hard to probably find them in decent condition and the price like triples sometimes yeah with the box and i just don't care about the box so nice. there it is it very is nice like immaculate i can't find yeah. 
any flaw in this. So this would be yep. like a three hundred and fifty dollar US, and I got it for like two, just over two hundred. That's because really I took good. a risk. I could have uh, got yeah. a piece <laughs> of wood. Gone. So oh my god. Yeah. This very is, very nice. That's awesome. like light scratches on the front. Yeah, but you but really can't see them. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Lovely. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, but does it work? Well, but does it work well? Well, let's see if it um, plays a little see. tune. So, uh, continue. Nope. Is the battery in or? Oh, oh, it's like doing things. So, it's no no sound. But the sound might be turned off. That's possible. Um, well, he's moving around, mm. uh, up and down and left and right. And the button works. So I'll have to investigate the sound after, but it's such good condition. I don't think mm. it's not working, but we'll see. Yeah. No, the batteries are in there. No, it's real. There's, <laughs> it's working. Yeah. It looks very newish reproduction stickers um he would have done a very good job of scratching it up <laughs> um now these are really detailed like i don't think anybody has uh, redone them mm. because usually with ones that are redone they're you can see it yeah you'd be able yeah, to there see is, it there yeah. are some light scratches on it so. yeah i'll be checking out the batteries that's for sure um okay so uh and that is the second to last game in a watch they ever made Oh, um, really? The last one is Mario the Juggler, which sounds like a terrible game. Mm. All those juggling games, you're just like moving back and forth and watching Very for the nice. balls. Very nice. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, if any programmers out there want to oh, make deactivate a... deactivate webcam mode. You're oh. still uh, what, you don't want to look looking at, the webcam at uh, cat cam with no cats. <laughs> Thank you, Vitoko. <Vitoko. laughs> if anybody wants to make $100 and are a programmer mm. for the 7800... There is a um, hundred dollars up for offer from RJ thirteen oh seven, who is the developer of the Dragonfly. Nice. Um, he posted last week. I do not hide that I would love to hear Kovox music from seventy eight hundred from mm. Atari seventy eight hundred. That's why I propose a hundred dollar prize for each of the first three people who manage to write a music demo using Kovox from the Dragonfly cartridge. Nice. Even a black a black screen with background music is enough. So the offer expires uh, May 31st at midnight. So if anybody out there uh, is a programmer mm. for 7800 and he's given some information uh, about how to make that work. Um, and uh, there you go, some channels, four mm. channels for the Kovacs. There you go. Um, so uh, because he includes a... The Kovax is part of the Pokemax chip that is in the Dragonfly. Hmm. And I don't think anybody has put Kovax into a game yet. So he's probably like getting things going, mm -hmm. getting things rolling with that. And a couple days later, three days later, somebody posted one. So the oh, first one is gone. Gone. Nice. So there's still two, two left. Tanya drinking white Zen or Mr. <laughs> Moscato. <laughs> it's the second person asked me. I am drinking. What is it? It's like a strawberry blush soda or something. It's not. It's not wine. It's more like a soda. It's not wine. Okay. Yeah. It's very light and very tasty. But thank you for asking. <laughs> so, uh, PlaySoft stepped up to uh, the plate and posted a Kovacs demo, and we're going to take a look at that right now. And he just named it W A I R Q. So, or, or WA. So, uh, let's see. Let's turn it on. Load it up. And it is a one meg file. And it takes about uh, 30 seconds to load. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the longest loading I've ever done on the Dragonfly. So let me get switch over to the Dragonfly right now. Uh, sure, we'll leave the movie card on the screen. You guys can deal with that. <laughs> okay, switch over. Now, this is music, so I'm only going to be able to play a few seconds of this. Mm. Uh, tonight is about avoiding copyright. Because <laughs> we're going to have copy to... Copy strikes? Uh, yeah. Yeah, copy yeah. strikes, because there's a couple uh, things we might run into, mm. um, possibly. Okay, I don't see it yet. Am I in the right... 
Maybe I should turn on the uh, Atari 7800. That might help. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to mute the Frame Meister. Or I'll pl let it play for a second. Then I'll mute it. And then I'll unmute it. Oh. Okay. I can't hear it here. Oh, it's very quiet. I may have to turn it up for you guys. Okay, you heard a little bit of it. <laughs> um, so what this is, um, I had to look it up. Wandering Aloud, which is the fifth track off uh, off the Aqualung album by Jethro, Jethro Tull. Tull. Mm. The song is a minute and 53 seconds, and it's the whole song that they've put on there. And I'm guessing... They like Jethro Tull, and they went to, <laughs> went to their this album and went, "What's the shortest song?" Song, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they have a little visual demo here to go along with. Nice. It. And it's you know it's scratchy. I'm yeah. Turn it down here a little bit, and then let it play for you guys again. I'm paying the bell. Okay, that's it. <laughs> you've got to get under the wire if it's like it only a couple seconds yeah. yeah 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 but it's uh it's really well done a nice little visual to go along with it mm -hmm. and um you know it's a meg big for a minute in a bit mm. um but you know if you took that as an mp3 the sound quality would be much much higher mm -hmm. but mp3s are highly compressed yes yes and, and can't compress i'm guessing but... and this would be i believe uncompressed mm -hmm. because the processing power for a 7800 to uncompress something <laughs> is a touch much i think okay. so fair enough yeah, so you have to have something that's uncompressed mm -hmm. at at, a, at the bit rate mm -hmm. that equals a meg um or whatever the covox is encoded at um, I don't have that information right here, but I'm sure some people have it. Um, he said, I tried out the Kovacs from the Pokemax in my Dragonfly cart. I was presently surprised by the audio quality. The attached is playing with a sample rate of 7860. I have no idea what that means. Writing to Kovax every second scan line, every two scan lines. Mm -hmm. And that's what you have to do on the 2600 as well if you're doing um, real-time audio. is like update it every couple scan lines to get the uh the right enough frequency mm -hmm. oh seven seventy eight hundred and sixty hertz sample sampling rate mm. there we go too bad he didn't use uh exactly 7800 <laughs> mm. he probably went for that he was mm -hmm. like something close does he take requests that'd be nice yeah. i bet he does <laughs> um and i believe he posted the source code oh cool. so you can make your own if um mm. if you're so smart as enough to do that um, so that kind of makes the second and third person to do it an easy hundred dollars. I, I don't know if he'd require you to do a different implementation of it. Yeah. Because the source code's there to do it. So I guess it's whoever gets to it first wow. and just replaces the audio. I don't know. You'd probably have to do. You'd have to do a completely different one. Okay. So enough that. Um, so that's really cool, and you can check it out yourself if you have a Dragonfly mm. cart and play that. So that is the first known implementation of Kovacs playing sampled music, hmm. I believe, that I've heard of. Ooh, it's probably in Trebor's list. There might be another Kovacs implementation, but very, very few. No B-sides. <laughs> I kind of make, want to make a cart single. That's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. We play, we're made a, an, an audio cart. Yeah. Now we're going to do a movie cart. Yeah. <laughs> That, I never even put the two together. Um, mm. So, uh, Galaxian by Bob DeCrescenzo, uh, Pac-Man Plus, mm. went to release candidate one, uh, uh, release candidate version one, one hour before the show today. Um, so we'll probably be playing this updated version on Friday. Probably. It's, it looks really good. Mm. And then interviewing him the Friday after that mm. um, for his developer Perfect. spotlight. Um, and if you didn't know, I maintain a daily or almost daily list of all the 7800 and 2600 games mm -hmm. as they come out, mm -hmm. update them. Um, so if you look here, um, there is a full list uh, and I can copy it there as well. 
So there's all the 7800 games. So I, I've been doing this for a couple of years now mm. because it helps when it gets to the homebrew awards. Mm. I just have all the information already done with links. Um, so what I usually do is put the name of the game and that links to the, f the thread, the top of the thread. Then their name, then their name on Atari Age. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and then the link to the post with the newest update. Gotcha. Does that pop up too? No. And the date that that was posted on. Gotcha. Then a link that you can play it instantly through your browser. Oh, that's cool. Um, and then when the last time I updated this listing as well. If there's any more information then i uh, separate it out in com completed and works in progress nice. and usually once it's incompleted i don't need to update it anymore Fiddle with it anymore yeah but sometimes people do another update it's like they find bugs or something yeah um so if you look at the 7800 list mm. it is it is pretty good this year like it is like at least two or three times as big as last year um and a lot of it's people already, working on stuff out there yeah and i don't think the uh the cartridges that take sd have uh hurt at all <laughs> in the developments so like look arkanoid bernie binary land bomber hero congo bongo dragon's descent there's so much and there's galaxian that was updated today nice so there you go um and i and i do the same for 2600 and the list is like way 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 longer and this is just 2021 yeah this is just this year wow. because I, I take it from january 1st to december 31st nice yeah um and if you want the full 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 list you can refer to arena foot's list mm. and that encompasses every Everything. game ever for mm. the 2600 yeah um i should actually put a, a link to that at the top here just in case people want to um refer to that list mm. yeah um so it is time to unbox movie cart um, and by Rob from Toronto, as he uh, wanted to be called nice. or low def mode. I don't know if he is part of Atari age at all. He just came out of the blue <laughs> and it contacted me. Yeah. And he said, uh, hello, I've been quietly working on an Atari hardware software package. We'll go back to full screen. Um, Atari hardware slash software slash packaging al alternate history project that I would love to share with you. Okay. It's a home library box set of full length color audio feature films hmm. played on stock Atari 2600 consoles. Um, and I have more information on my GitHub, which we're going to take a look at briefly right now. So he, his project is called Movie Cart. Mm. And he says, I haven't really announced it yet and then thought your show might be a good fit to make it public. Well, mm. thank you so much, Rob. Um, software and hardware to create full-length color movie plus audio cartridges for stock Atari 2600. September 11th, 1977, which is the release date, North American release date of the Atari 2600. Yes. Introducing Movie Cart, this <laughs> revolutionary new project, project product will allow for the first time ever anyone to... Ex He's proposing this as if it came out in the 70s. Mm -hmm. um, anyone to experience the joy of the silver screen directly from the comfort of their own home in stunning digital accuracy, boasting an impressive 80 by 192 <laughs> resolution, which actually would be very high resolution back in the late 70s. Because I remember early era internet um, yeah. videos oh, yeah. were not much more than that. No, no. They were like three, <laughs> 320 by 200. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, seven bit color and four bit monaural audio. Monaural audio. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds pretty hilarious. It's just mono. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one one track. One track. Um, uh, begin building your fe full length feature film library today. And there's a little star. I don't know what that. Uh, we'll get to that. Mm. Technical specs. Two fields are all alternate, alternated at sixty frames a second, so it's it's actually better than uh, you know home movies at twenty four or thirty. It's at sixty frames a second. <laughs> interlaced so it would be the same as 30. okay uh each field consists of a checkerboard pattern of 10 by 262 cells yeah um each cell contains one of 128 colors and is eight pixels wide by one pixel deep this produces an effective res resolution of 80 by 262 at 30 frames per second which 10 with 10 colors per line oh 262 
Uh, each field requires 2.5k of data. Mm. So the first games that came out on the 2600 were less than that. <laughs> less than one frame of the video. Uh, sound is 4-bit mono produced at 15.720 kilohertz. Uh, a 1K kernel is made available to the 6507 via dual port RAM. A 16 uh, MIPS microcontroller monitors three address lines to selectively update portions of the kernel with information streamed from an SD microcard. Joystick controls brightness, volume, and shuttle position. So you have actually control of the movie. That's funny. Console switches control black and white. Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, 10 second rewind and full rewind. Hmm. Uh, each field uh, requires the equivalent of 75.5 <laughs> combat, combat cartridges. cartridges. <laughs> each field. Re what? Uh, or over half a million cartridges to produce a full length two hour movie. So if you dug up all those cartridges that were buried in the desert, wow. they'd be <laughs> the equivalent of one of these movies. <laughs> Uh, hardware consists of of only three through-hole components plus a few passives. No assembly of SMT parts are required. Mm. Uh, for in inquiries, please contact lowdef.mode at gmail.com. So there, I don't know what's in the package, but this, because it looks smaller than an actual... Oh, actually, those boxes are pretty small. Mm. Um, so... It has instructions, a box, and the cartridges that here. That is hilarious. Uh, in the picture, he's got Zardoz, uh, which is Sean Connery in a bikini. Oh, jeez. If you've ever seen... I've never seen that movie, but I've seen, I've the, never seen the movie. I've seen that image. I've, <laughs> I've seen that image in clips. It's very <laughs> me malicious. <laughs> um, uh, he's got What's Up, Doc. Yeah. Uh, which I am not familiar with that nope, film. No, not at all. Uh, Star Wars. Of course. The Jerk. Yeah. And Kramer versus Kramer. Yeah. I've never seen Kramer versus Kramer. I don't have think you? I have either. I've I've seen Star Wars. So all these are very seventies uh, <laughs> seventies era, 70s era yeah. late seventies. Star Probably Wars seventy seven. Uh, Star Wars is seventy seven. Jerk is seventy nine. Kramer versus Kramer is seventy nine. Okay. I looked those up. I didn't okay. look up the other one. Fair enough. Fair Barbara enough. Streisand and Ryan O'Neill. Yeah, that's hilarious. Uh, okay. Yeah, I haven't. Uh... And uh, okay, well, we, we, then he shows off some some videos, but we'll get to that <laughs> live here. Yeah. So, let's open it up. Let's see if we've been either Rickrolled or um, <laughs> or um, April Fools. <laughs> <laughs> the Jerk is excellent and a classic Steve Martin comedy gold. I really, really used to like The Jerk. Then I watched it recently. I'm like, a lot of this is pretty silly. <laughs> <laughs> but some of it's really funny. Yeah. Yeah. But it's of its of its time. It's uh, of its time. Of it. Yeah, that's yeah. always yeah, that's always the thing. Box contains peeps. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> peeps. Ew. Okay. Well, it seems well packed, which is good because um, let's actually dump it upside down. That movie's responsible for my love of French toast. Do you need an excuse to love French toast? Oh my God. No, it's real. Oh wow. This is real. Well, at least the boxes are. Someone printed some nice looking boxes there. Here we go. Zardoz. Video computer system movie program. Marvelous achievement. Los Angeles Free Press. <laughs> Zardoz is terrific. Not only does it grab for the intellect, but it offers gratification of some of our baser needs for entertainment. Wow. Dick Locke. Los Angeles Free Press. <laughs> like these are mo real movie quotes, he says. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Wow. And it's April uh, Fools. <laughs> yeah. This is an elaborate April Fools. Yeah. I'm uh, impressed if it is. <laughs> Kramer versus Kramer. Yeah. Uh four stars, Roger Ebert, Chicago Sun Times. Kramer versus Kramer is a movie of good performances, and it had to be, because the performances can't rest on conventional melodrama. Dustin Hoffman's acting is about the best in his career, I think. And in this movie should uh win him an Academy Award nomination and perhaps the Oscar. Roger oh. Ebert. I wonder if he won the Oscar. Or he was nominated. The Jerk. Backhandedly clever. New York Times. The Jerk is by Ty. I won't read them all out. Uh, yep. Uh, what's up, Doc? Three stars, Roger Ebert. It's not as good as uh, Kramer versus Kramer. <laughs> oh, this one's coming open a bit. Yeah. We'll get into that in a second. And, and Star, Wars. Star Wars. Four stars, Joseph Gelmis. Newsday. 
Star Wars is one of the greatest adventure movies ever made. It's a masterpiece of entertainment. I haven't had as much fun at a movie in years. With its technical wizardry, high velocity storytelling, and spirited good humor, Star Wars dazzles the child in us. Joseph Gel Gelmus, Newsday. So let's just show you guys the construction of these. Oh, we're in tiny mode still. Sorry. There's the box for Star Wars. Very nice box. There's the back of it. Top. The other side, same. Um, and he's made this to be era appropriate, right? Um, so that it looks like it would have been released <laughs> around the late 70s. Yeah. Oh. oh, it's just the sticker. That's it's okay. Just, it's just, oh, it's got, it has no stickiness left. No, Absolutely it, whatsoever. It, it, yeah. It's all left on the box. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, so are these cruising for copyright takedowns? We're going to try not to. <laughs> um, so, oh no. I'm going to actually open it. This is well, actually... You can open the bottom if you want. Yeah, I'm going to open the bottom. I'm not going <laughs> to wreck it. So we're going to start with Star Wars. Of course. <laughs> of course. Oh my goodness. Somebody posted in one of the Facebook... Uh, groups. How do you open these? Josani, thank you for watching and following. These are really elaborate. Okay. So, oh, it's plastic inserts? It's like a plastic insert. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my goodness. This is very stuck in here. Yeah. I don't want to wreck anything. Or cut open the top. I think it might be stuck. I don't really want to... Cut the plat. It's just it's just the adhesive. So yeah. it's kind of already screwed Because I can't really take it out. I won't do any damage. I'm just going to cut the adhesive. There we go. Yeah. I'll wait for the gatefold additions. <laughs> yeah, you might be waiting. You have to open from the top. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So... Just crammed right in there. Oh, so. it's not meant to be... It's not meant to be taken out. Oh, from the bottom. Yeah. It's not the the in, inside is not meant to be taken well, out. Look at that! That's, that's oh wow! Pretty impressive. That looks really nice. <laughs> that's so cool. So let me switch over and show you that. Wow. So yeah, really nice print job. Yeah. Extremely. Someone nice. someone put some effort into that print job for sure. Look at that. Yeah, this is really nice print. Wow. Printing. And it's got the manual on how to use it. Wow. Movie program instructions. Yeah. There you go. Very nice. Are the corners curved? No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we found a bootleg. <laughs> the corners aren't curved on the sticker. Ah, dent in a detail. Um, so... Wow. Shall we pop it in? Yes. Yes, we shall. Yes, okay. we should. So let me switch over to the 2600 here. Nice and glossy. Yeah, the, it is very, very nice. So here we go. First ever movie on the 2600. Make sure I've got all the settings correct. Um, do you have a controller? Yes, we do. The best one ever. Lovely. It's all wrapped up. There we go. Oh. Okay, I'll switch over so we don't miss anything. Hopefully it uh, works. <laughs> well, let us switch over here. Definitely is history. First one ever. Ready. Hopefully it has a bit of lead. It doesn't jump right into it. Well, my frame meister gets itself ready. <laughs> it uh, doesn't work blowing the cart. <laughs> yeah, he said it, it may take a couple times if it doesn't work right away. Yeah. So don't freak out. At Ari Fox Plus. Ready. At Ari Fox Plus. <laughs> Ready. Sorry, Vox, you're getting unplugged. I don't want to hear that every time. 
and you probably don't need it, so. No, not, not tonight. So he said it the... Try the 7800, Crossbow says. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. Try it a few times. Yeah. I can take out another one if you want to try another one. That might be a good idea. Okay. I wanted to start with Star Wars. We're going to go into the 7800. Need your scissors. Mm. There is a chance that it's my RGB as well. Okay. There's a remote chance of that. Let's switch over to the 7800. Okay, here we go. April 1st is hard coded. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. They feel weightier than a normal. Uh, Oh, there's more stuff in there. There definitely is something in there, or they put a brick in it. It's struggling, but something's going on. Oh, i got to mute that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's having a bit of issues. Oh, wow, it's actually readable. It's flipping out, though. It is. Wow. Actually, it looks really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just try it again. Try it one more time. Oh. <gasps> it's doing pretty good there. There. Oh. Okay. Is it working? It looks it looks frozen. No, it's Oh, it's It's frozen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Try one more. Well, it's kind of better. <laughs> I bet you still have C64 enabled on that 7800. I don't know. Pal? Question mark? <laughs> uh, no, he's, in, he's from Canada. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We're, we're, we're making headway here. <laughs> Should try it on the 2600 again. Yeah. Oh, low def mode is in the chat. Oh, excellent. Welcome. Okay, we're going to try this 2600 again. <laughs> oh, much better. Ooh. I'm going to just keep the music very low. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Nice. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> wow. Wow, you can read the scroll. That is incredible. I never, I thought it was going to be a blur. Yeah. Me too. But the vertical horizontal, uh, the vertical resolution is actually really, really good. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my god, this is amazing. That's awesome. I never, in a million years, thought that this would be anywhere near possible. We just have to keep talking so that... Uh, yeah, you can't hear it. <laughs> you can't really hear it. Um, is, is it audible? Like, I want to keep it just barely audible. Yeah, 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 yeah. We live in an age of wondrous things. <laughs> <laughs> Rainfoot says, take your requests. <laughs> is it portrait mode? Yeah, I mean, it's 2021. Movies can be portrait mode now, <laughs> right? You know, everybody uh, films Everybody films vertically. We can yeah. still hear it. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Just slightly let's, audible. Good. Look at the stars. Look let's, at that. Let's see the pan down. Oh, come on, pan down. <laughs> Ooh, oh, a bit of corruption there. Here comes the pan. Wow. <laughs> now, he commented nice. that this is the original print. Of Star okay, Wars. Okay, okay. Unaltered. Good. So that, Good. um, 
you get not it's it's era accurate good overhead star destroyer nice yeah. look at that so he says the cart casings are modified from old combat carts they may be a bit sticky to insert i find holding them both sides firmly does a trick um when the powers turn on you'll see the title movie card appear for about five seconds before the main feature starts oh r2d2 and c3po <laughs> like this is like you can tell what's going on <laughs> and the audio is that's quite good freaking amazing like it's that's quite amazing good. yeah it is actually the audio is really good like the aspect ratio is I, it's a, it's I don't think it's the f it's I think it's four by three squished because everything is it quite does tall. look tall I don't know if that's uh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's mind-boggling mind yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is it is mind-boggling wow so um I don't think he sent me the information how how big was it that he said this was on the on the page I think mm. he did say how big this was yeah remember. on his on his page yeah yeah 93 uh, by no like the full the movie like how the the size on oh the SD card. i see i see yeah mm. um so now there are controls for this wow and it's in here hopefully your tia doesn't explode <laughs> yeah it's getting a workout right now that's for sure yeah um so move your joystick up or down until the current time code is displayed. So that's, oh, that's brightness, brightness, volume, time code. Okay. So go back to brightness or volume. Actually, you can just leave the volume. So try brightness and left and right. Ah. Mm. So you can adjust it. It's, it's like contrast so yes. that it kind of work, looks a little bit better. Yeah. Um, so now go to time code and uh oh you can press the button to stop pause it at any time wow okay nice so press it again nice, nice. pause and play um well so pause it we'll wait for a good part okay right here okay um so you can move the joystick one frame at a time by left or right wow <laughs> that's so cool that's amazing and you can do it the other way as well wow okay um now can you hold it and go fast the, hold the, the button? button no the joystick no no okay no. just so, frame by frame so press the button again to go f and then go left oh hold it Oh, you can rewind and fast forward. <gasps> and it has the time code on it. Wow. There we go. Does it play the audio at the same time? Ha ha. There you go. <laughs> there's, there's the there you go. There's the shot of Princess Leia. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it has volume up mm. and down, which, you know. Mm. So can you do it while it's paused, the volume? Um. Yep. So up. Yep. And then down. Good. So it's at like 75% by default. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, there are switches. The TV type, color black and white. I don't know if this works while paused. Oh my god, it does. So press play again. Wow. That's really cool. I'm getting that, that image of Princess Leia on a t-shirt, <laughs> just so you know. The, pic the pixelized. It's <laughs> beautiful. It's beautiful. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> so game select, depressing the switch momentarily to rewind the movie a full 10 seconds. Wow. There we go. <laughs> So that rewinds it, and uh, game reset naturally goes back to the beginning of the film. Mm. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. And on the back it says, "Look for more great titles to add to your collection nice. now." Nice. <laughs> and, and it has all all five of the of the uh, movies on here. Yep. Yep. Wow. Uh, that's amazing. So low def mode. How big uh, on the SD card 
is this um no they can still match audio even if it's not music unfortunately <laughs> so keep playing keep playing so for, fast forward um quite a bit so that's pretty fast does it get faster mm, this is oh it is getting faster is. so Three, smart four five so six. smart Oh, it's whiny Luke. <laughs> whiny Luke. <laughs> Doesn't want to do his chores. <laughs> Only wants to be a Jedi. Yeah, that's right. Wants to fly, fly, <laughs> fly uh, ships. Okay. Shall we try another one? I know this one is audio plays while shuttling. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the movie is about one to two gigs out of an eight gig card. So you could have very big movies <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 oh my god this is incredible beautiful beautiful <laughs> oh oh my god <laughs> the jerk doesn't is being a jerk Let's see if this uh, does okay that looks a little a little effy but it had a picture it's uh, no. amazing oh there. Midsummer. Yes, there good go. film. Midsummer. Oh. Is that a request? Yeah, <laughs> I want to see Midsummer. <laughs> that is an excellent uh, film. Close. Kind of started. Maybe reseat the cartridge. Blow in it. <laughs> no, blowing in it is not good. There we go. Oh, oh, oh that's stick. the Universal. Yeah, logo. There we go. It's like four by three, but cut off just a little a bit. Slight yeah, yeah, bit. yeah, yeah. Yeah. The 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 music's great. Yep. Let me turn it up a bit for everyone. That's all you get. That's all you get. That's all you get. <laughs> no more <laughs> yeah the audio is very very good because if the audio wasn't good yeah it would be a bit difficult to watch but since the audio is like fairly decent it's it's not too bad especially if you know the movie yes yeah yeah, 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 yeah. wow great audio yeah where's roger hebert <laughs> this this is astounding this is absolutely astounding oh there's the title yeah, yeah. and uh looks pretty good like smaller like it almost looks better smaller like things do when they're low resolution yes. yeah 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 so yeah, that's yeah. kind of cool yeah you can oh read the God. titles <laughs> <laughs> we need towering inferno to go with the game yeah um so eh, does anybody want me to do anything else with these do you want me to play all of them <laughs> yeah do we or... want to see the other the other uh, I, three? I mean he sent them so yeah you know. we might as well You're gonna need these scissors, I think, just to cut through the yeah. uh, adhesive, yeah. Okay. Just to be careful. <laughs> okay. There we go. E.T. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Put E.T. on the uh, on the twenty six hundred. That would be funny. What you do is get put E.T. on it. And then get Howard Scott Warshaw to sign the E.T. movie <laughs> on a 2600 cart. He'd be like, what? What is this? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? And then put it in a 2600 for him to see at the next Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Oh, there you go. That would be so funny. finicky but i like that opening i love that opening yeah it's like the um ads before old movies yeah yeah warner brothers logo fading away lots of credits mm -hmm. <laughs> I do not know this film at I all. Neither do I. Yeah. <laughs> so. Sure, we'll play some dialogue. Yeah. 
This sounds like a good one to do. When yeah. I ask you to wait for me somewhere, I expect you to stay there <laughs> until I get How many back. parts yes, would be yes. needed for now, the Lord of the Rings extended version? It is difficult enough for me to have to see to all these arrangements myself. <laughs> yes, yes, It is exactly 6.15. If we reach the hotel in half an hour, we'll have just enough time to get dressed for the banquet. Yes, you Put these things in a taxi. Yes, you are Totally fine. <laughs> totally fine. You can completely understand every word of that. Oh, that taxi shows up really well. Yeah, the contrast and everything. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that shot works really well. Unbelievable. What's Up Doc is a Woody Allen movie. Oh, ah, uh, okay. Yeah, sound is very good. 4-bit audio is pretty good. Mm. You have the other ones out? Yep, I've opened them. I okay. haven't pulled them out yet. Very cool. So we're going to go... Uh, we're going to save Zardoz for last. And do Kramer versus Kramer next. Excellent. I think pretty much the all the all the manuals are the same. Mm. Like just the covers are different. It's behaving a lot better now. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Columbia Pictures. <laughs> I can read it. Well. Not for a bit. Fast forward. Because it's just going to be credits. Fast forward. That was a good shot. Go back to the face. There we go. It looks like like early, early internet streaming. Like just terrible. Very pixelated. Very, yeah, yeah. very pixelated early internet streaming. Very cool. Well, that's a good question. What the uh, how 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 was the video encoded? Like, yeah. what what method? We'll go back to the website and take a look at a little bit more about the information about that, and I'll link everyone. <clears throat> Star Wars gave a lot of trouble. So this is Zardoz. Wow. Is God in show business too? That works well because it's black, completely black yeah. background. Was that Vincent Price at the beginning? It's. I don't know this film either. Like it. Yeah, <laughs> it I did don't sound know like Vincent Price. Oh, Tron would be awesome. The color, yes. the color um, contrast. Yeah, because it's very sparse. Like Tron yeah. is just so sparse, it would probably work really well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know this film at all. I'm sure there's a, like maybe one person who does. That's so cool. There's Sean Connery. <laughs> oh, Sean Connery. There you go. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, wow. So let's switch back and take a look at the website again. I cannot believe you guys haven't seen this. No, I can't either. I mean, it's a pretty... Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. So there's the cartridge inside. Wow. Um, there's the 8-gig card. Um, it looks very simple. And mm. um, there's the movie instructions, a nice quality copy of it. Here, I'll link, I'll link this for everyone. Blade Runner, yes. There you go. That's another good one. Yeah. Um, there's the, the manual, the controls. Yeah. Yep, with just different pictures for each movie mm. right different cover different four on the back <laughs> um and uh gives a copyright disclaimer that he's allowed to do this for mm. research purposes really it is it's like technology research right yeah um and i believe you can uh look at the code of how this was all done wow i think 
It's got some utilities here um, that might allow you to do it yourself. Yeah. Um, some documentation for it. Uh, well, I think this might be just what we just saw. Code is all available and schematics. Loaded well, there you says. go. So you can make this yourself and make your own cartridges That's and make amazing. your own library as if it was the late 70s. That's <laughs> <laughs> and, yes. uh, and, and I mean, he's even got the, um, the look of the manuals too. So if you want to replicate the way he's done the manuals, mm. um, you can make your own. Beautiful. Yeah, it is just astounding. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I know there was several people working on encoding video and we played one not too long ago with cats running across things oh, yeah, and, the, and yeah. the cars jumping and it's just amazing that multiple people were working on this yeah yeah um, yeah, yeah um by Mar marco johannes was working on this at mm. the same time as as as, as low def yeah. what's his name again? Low, def. low def mode yeah yeah um a mad max oh yeah and that would be era era appropriate well, yes it would <laughs> it's from the late 70s yeah i think the original yeah, yeah. um nice so I don't know what more, much more to say about this. I'm sure a lot of people will dive into the tech tech side of things. Yeah. Um, about this more. <laughs> um, so yeah, there you can print off circuit boards right from here. He's got all the schematics. That's amazing. Um, don't know if these can play in Stella or not. Um, or if you need to play them off of the cards, um, that'd be a good question for mm -hmm. him. Uh, low def mode. Can you play these videos? Oh, in a hacked version in of Stella. Okay. okay. So I don't know if, uh, under this Stella, this, this is the hacked version. But I'll move it to Stella soon. Okay. Basic code to run in Stella emulator. Okay. So there you go. Uh, astounding. <laughs> Amazing. Yep. Yeah. HD is so passe. <laughs> Low def is where it's at. It is. Yep. I bet. I bet uh, YouTube won't catch him. Um, won't copy strike you for that. It Not won't even know what it is. Not yeah. the video part of it, anyway. <laughs> the the sound sure. is different, but. Uh, yep. Is Low Def R Barrows on AA? Oh, you found out his secret name. <laughs> <laughs> um. So what do we have next? We have. After that excitement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch Star Wars. <laughs> That's right. The whole thing in low def. Yeah. Yeah. So it's possible now. Uh, we're going to take a look at Doom 2600. That's crazy. And this is also an exclusive world premiere. This is by, by Bro uh, Brock Kihi, uh, known as uh, Major Havoc on uh, Atari Age Nice. Forum. I've seen him in the chat. Yep. Uh, this build is from March 23rd, 2021, just a week ago. Uh, it's a 32K game. Other games he's made, uh, The Black Candle, uh, Nexion 3D, and Zybots. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not available in the Atari Age forums yet. I don't know if he'll make this available or if another one will be available later. Let me move this stack of games, or stack of movies. Uh, let me just show them to you, actually, really quick. Uh, webcam. Oh, yeah, yeah, before we go. There's Zardoz. They're so pretty. They're so nice. Kramer versus Kramer. What's up, Doc? The Jerk. So nice. And Star Wars. There you go. <laughs> the first five in many films to come. In your movie cart collection. Uh, so. Gave each their own serial number. Oh, nice. Thank you. Yep, 2610, 2613, 2607, Ooh. 2612, 2615. Wow. So, it's always funny. It's yeah. Like, there, there's some missing in between. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what, what is number 11? Mm -hmm. hmm. Reserved for future use. Okay, so uh, let's. That was very, very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you for following Sophie Rose Musics. Okay. 
Let's load up Doom 2600. Okay. Now, I must warn everyone, this game is 20 hertz. So it's a bit flickery. We may switch over to um, the emulator, to Stella. If, if, it's, it's, if it's a little too flickery. Okay. Um, but it, it looks okay in Stella with a, a, a long phosphor mode. Hmm. Okay, so load it up. Um, so, the basic Doom storyline. The player assumes the role of a space marine, popularly known as Doom Guy, fighting his way through hordes of invading demons from hell. <clears throat> so I don't think there is sound in this right now. Mm. Uh, it's going to be a hard act to follow. Mm -hmm. Whew, yeah, that's crazy. Pretty exciting. But, um, so, up top is the maze. Where okay. you move around. You are the white dot. So you may want to move uh, north. The you white flickery dot? Yep. Everything's flickery. Um, so, no. Nope. Oh. Now you're east, north, west. Oh, so you probably gosh. want to move north to get into the maze. So let's turn to north. Do you see west on the bottom there? Oh, there's north. Yeah. Okay. So move forward. And again. And again. There you go. Now you're in the maze. Oh, and those are monsters. Yeah. And all Wonderful. the other things are different monsters. And you can see the walls on the left and the right um, as you move through the maze. So it's a first-person perspective. You can see on the right-hand side it says SG, shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> um, Uh-oh. Something's coming. So let's press the button. So it does have sounds. Okay, press it again. That's a good volume. I okay. I'm using up my... Ah! I, don't think, I think you have unlimited ammo, though. So you want to move through the maze to shoot the bad guys. And if he's on the left, you can turn left to, to get him. Turn right to get him. This started as an April Fool's joke years ago. Or at least there was an April Fool's joke for a 2600 Doom port years ago. People thought the movie thing was an April Fool's joke too. So, um, Or the Doom too. So uh, here's what's changed from the demo. Um, he released a demo to a number of people a little while ago. It's three animated enemy types. There's... Kaka demons, bulldog demons, pinkies, and imps. So uh, the enemies are set to roam, but, but will not aggro. They will respawn, though. So have you shot one yet? No, because oh, I haven't get gotten... one. Turn to the right. Oh, there, shoot. Oh, uh, I think he missed. Did I? Oh, maybe he didn't. No, he disappeared. Uh, door and key logic are started, but not finished. Can't collect one key, but the door lock door logic is functional. Only one door in this demo. So I don't know where the door is. You may have to search for the door. So does this look okay for everyone, or is it a little too flickery? It is I mean, pretty flickery. It's for pretty me. flickery, I can't, but I can't. <laughs> you can see what's going on. Like you can see where you are and the enemies and the walls, because it's basically updating the left, then the middle, then the right. Shoot! Oh, missed. Oh. Left, middle, right, left, middle. He's right. not in front of me though. Or I, I can. Oh, just missed him. Does he have to be directly in front of I me? I think so. Because they're kind of wandering to the right and left I'm looking at the map, you. but it's very oh, no, flickery look at the on bottom the map. When they're moving in front of you. Not doing a very good job. Pretty flickery. Well, you can... And that's major havoc, so... Let's switch over to the... Um, the uh, emulated version. And we can take a look at it there. A little less flickery. A little less flickery. Mm. Uh, okay. Stella. There we go. So I can work on here. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. I'm going to have to do it with the keyboard. If I can. Oh, I have to click on it. Oh. Can you use your mouse? There we go. North, north, north. Let's move out of there. East, east, east. Boom. I think I got him. It's a little hard Yellow to Yellow up ahead. Oh. Um, pointing east now. Let's go forward. I think like every... Did I get him? No, he's in the corner. He's not in front of you. You have to get him when he's in front of exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, they have an advantage then because they can like move just to the right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I played this. <laughs> 
think arena foot was one of the beta testers for this so let's go east I don't think you've hit any yet or because your points haven't gone up so uh, i don't know if points are implemented oh okay well then that makes more sense then. <laughs> he's not in front of you oh he's hitting me oh my god back up back up back up oh lost him uh where am i not even on the map anymore. well somehow your points cycled backwards <laughs> so uh way to go you have a score of 900 no <laughs> probably because he hit me yeah, he took a score off and then, then it circled oh, back. Dare. That's pretty funny. That I got. I feel, like, I feel like you got him. Yeah. But I don't get points for... They take points from me, but I don't get any points for hitting them. Remember, it's a little it's loud, still, someone was saying. Oh, sorry. Oh, because we're not on the, um, not on the Atari. Yeah, sorry, that was very loud. <laughs> World record! <laughs> High score! Okay, so let's try and find oh, oh, the door. Major Havoc's giving you hints. D door is on the bottom left. Oh, okay, thank you very much. That will help a lot. So let's go west. Oh, ran into a wall. North. Ah! Oh my god, lots of guys. Uh, I have unlimited ammo, that's good. Go north a bit. Now we're in the clear. West, 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 west. Run by those guys. Bottom left, he says. That's what he said, yeah. I'll get a doom patch for that score. Mm -hmm. I should hope so. It's huge. Huge score. Um, you think it's in like this bottom left? West? Or do I have to... No. All the way around. Uh, west, 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 west. No. One more north. There we go. West, 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 um, west, west, and south. Someone south. mentioned, can it be centered? And it's moved up a bit. Do you see There's... the left and the right there? Why are they different? You're not missing anything. Okay. Yeah. This is what they're looking at. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're not, you're not. Oh. Like, there's nothing else to see. It's just a window that I'm uh, that I'm showing here. Yeah. You're not missing anything at all. Yeah. Okay. South, south. Oh, I don't see the door. The wall texture. Oh, there's a key. Can I shoot the key? Is that stairs? Or it might be the door. Is that the door? Yeah, but it looks like the key cards you get in Doom. Oh. So I'm pretty sure that's the key. Okay. Oh. Maybe the door's here. Nope. West, 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 west. Oh, is that the door? That looks like a something. There's a key. No, I don't see anything in That's the southwest. That's where you started. That's where you southwest started. Southwest corner. Do you see southwest or yeah. southeast? Bottom left. Bottom left. But that you were That's... way over on the other side, so maybe... Well, this is bottom left. No, but... Not of the whole screen of, of the area you were in, possibly. Oh, I went to the other side of that long yeah. stretch and it wasn't there. That's okay. But we'll... Uh, we'll keep looking. Let's look in this little uh, end here. No, nothing there. Go south, south, west, east. We'll go east. Go south. Stop Hit me! South, and then east, 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 east. Maybe the door's in... That was the door? What? That was the door? What oh, okay. was the door? Well, what we were looking at before. Just Power ran right back. in. <laughs> so that... Um, that thing we were looking at, that that's the door. Oh, sorry. Oh, not volume. Right there. That's the door. Well, you can't go through it or anything. Okay. So it's, it's just there. Very cool. Yeah. Very, very cool uh, uh, start to this. Um, so some things he wants to add. Tune the aggression level on the AI. Mm. It's off in the demo, so they don't actively attack you. Mm. There's three. T th he wants to add three types of keys and doors, which makes sense. Mm. Um, so you can have to get through things and find keys to get into rooms. Um, have an exit. Have at least two more weapons. 
Um, ammo pickups. Mm. Um, I guess he could he would put the ammo underneath or something. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of vertical space left. So if he wanted to reduce the flicker down a bit, um, I, I was thinking about this. He could move the gun down so that it's not in the same parallel as the monsters and the doors. Mm. Um, and then move the face and move the, uh, the gun down on its own separate line. Like move the east and the gun down on its own separate line. And then like ammo underneath that. So okay. there's less flicker. Less flicker. Yeah. For at least the bottom part. Yeah. Um, in terms of the top part, I'm not sure what you could do. Because you would need all that stuff you all the all time. You need all that stuff popping yeah. up too. Yeah. It's very cool though. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Terrifying. Yep. Very, very cool. And he wants to uh, add the facial expressions. Which is oh yes! When you get hurt, when he gets yeah, he gets all tired and he's bleeding up. and yeah yeah yeah. He yeah, yeah, wants yeah. to add a boss to it. Mm. Um, some techie bits. Assets in the displayer are all calculated in the vertical blank, and then the corresponding data is loaded into a seventy-seven byte chunk of the supercart RAM. This is done with some assembly routines. So I'm guessing the rest is done in uh, basic. Uh, enemies are calculated in overscan with a sprite multiplexer routine. So very, very cool. Um, yes, custom kernel. Uh, that is exactly correct, Miss Command. So part of it was his own custom um, assembly routine that he added onto basic. So there we go. Watch out, Pinky. Ah, I'm yeah. gonna shoot you. <laughs> I think we explored everything in that. Romero would like this. Yes. There you go, yeah, send it to him after you've um, done a bit more on it to John Romero, who, uh, was part of id software nice so what is up next we have paint the city uh by splendid nut and this is also kind of a start to a game so let's load that up okay um, so this was first posted November 6, 2020. This build is from today. He sent this one that we're going to be playing um, an hour before the show. Oh, wow. So we're right up to the line. <laughs> right up to the line. Um, so size is 8K, uh, F8, uh, SC. Other mm -hmm. games he's made, Chaotic Grill mm -hmm. and Paint the City. So nice. this is his second game. Nice. It's made for the 2600. Um, oh, wait, before you do that, we're going to show where what this is a port of. And this is a port of an arcade game um, called City Connection. And let me go back to my notes here. There we go. That should be good. This is kind of stretched. Ugh. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We'll deal with it. Main player. There you go. This is City Connection. Um, it's all stretched and weird, but you get the idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a 1985 platform game developed and published by uh, Jalico. Uh, it was released in North America by Kit Corp as Cruisin'. The player controls Clarice in her Honda City hatchback and must drive over elevated roads to paint them. Clarice is constantly under pursuit by police cars. What? I guess if she's painting everything, uh, she, painting the city, that's yeah. not really something... I don't know. People not, look... Uh, it's frowned upon? I'm frowned not upon. Sure. <laughs> Maybe the road needs painting. Yeah. Uh, which she can take out by launching oil cans at them. Ooh, that's frowned upon as well. Mm -hmm. Temporarily stunning them and then ramming into them with her car. <laughs> Jellico was inspired by the maze chase action titles like Pac-Man and Crush Roller while designing the game. It was released in the arcade, NES, MSX, Zeta Spectrum, mobile phone, Windows, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and now your Atari 2600. Mm. Under the name Paint the City. There you go. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at... 
paint the city by Splendid Nut. He messaged me a couple hours before the show. He said, for tonight's show, here's a slightly newer version of Paint the City. Hmm. Now there's a cat to watch out for, too. Ooh. Well, it can't beat cats in games. No. Wait. Did you just start it immediately? Yes, I did. Let's look at the title screen for a little bit longer than one second. <laughs> so... I want to play the game. He has got... Now, this is really interesting, actually. Yeah. He has got parallax scrolling using multiple parts of the play field. Okay. Usually, parallax scrolling is definitely not done with play field because it's very hard to do. But he has got the city as play field, which is always four pixel chunks wide. Yeah. Or, or more. And then he's got the dotted lines as play field as well. And they're all moving in four pixel chunks. Mm. But the city is moving just... Yeah, Tanny just wants to play games. Yeah. <laughs> Tanny does not care about your star screen. <laughs> um, this is true. <laughs> um, it's, so it's moving at uh, two or three times as fast as the city. So you've got this parallax scrolling yeah. um, effect, which I've never, I don't think I've ever seen done with play field mm. very much. It's usually done with like small things like, like the, the like the and, like the yeah. like the bushes in um uh, uh circus convoy yeah. with the bushes going in front and yeah. then everything scrolling at different speeds yeah um skip the title screen <laughs> okay now you can go for it <laughs> i just give her a hard time so you can go back and forth yeah so you're painting um all the little How lines do I jump? up Oh, yeah, because gotcha. you need the button to yeah. deploy the oil. Yeah. Oh, that's a very mappy cat. <laughs> so your goal is to completely paint all the parts of the city. You've got four different levels to paint. And there are the cops in the blue cars. And you've got the parallax scrolling of multiple levels of city <laughs> this is like um fifth element or blade runner where the city is in stacks except in, in, in instead of flying cars um you you do act well the car does fly a bit doesn't it more like jumps jumps a little bit and you've got the cat as well chasing you it's very i mean the original game is fairly nonsensical <laughs> And you've got the oil cans, which are um, obviously done with... Um... Oh, ah, ran into the cop. I didn't mean to jump that high. <laughs> the oil cans look like they're done with the uh, missile zero. I'm just going to say the player is always player zero. Um, and then the cat and the cars are sharing... Um, player one, because they start flickering when they're on the same level. You can't shoot anything yet. Yeah, I so, noticed that. <laughs> for now, you have to just avoid. You can shoot, but you can't shoot anything. Yeah, yeah. it's not actually doing anything. Yeah. Um, paint the city. Paint the city as you explore its many places. Collect oil cans, shoot them at other cars, grab some balloons, and avoid whatever obstacle cross your path. Have you got a balloon yet? Yeah. Okay. Um... Use the joystick to navigate the multi-story roads. You can jump between the platforms, but be careful. Don't bump your head. Mm -hmm. You don't hurt when you bump your head. It's all fine. Oh. I don't think you can. He stays stuck in that one spot. so You can you jump might. over him. Yeah, but you can't paint the ground beneath. Oh, you have to get him off the screen. and. I guess so. Yeah, that's do true. Do something else while he figures out where he wants to be. Mm. Um, you cannot shoot the cars yet or the cats. It doesn't. No. It doesn't do anything. I'm sure that would be um, one of the next things on the, on the list to do. So he posted about this Saturday, and I was really excited about this, um, mm. an update to this, because this is going to be a really, really fun game. It, it already um, is pretty cute. I mean, it's it's a platformer, but it's like, what what is the name for that when it's continuously scrolling? Like, um, there, there is a name for a, a non- like a scrolling, a constant scrolling platformer, because some some platformer levels have constant scrolling. Side scroller. There's like a more specific name. 
than side scroller. I can't remember. Because side scroller, yeah, I mean side scroller might be it. But auto scroll. I think that's closer. Auto scroll. Yeah. And I think the oil cans replenish over and over again so far in this uh, in this demo. Get the balloon. Get it. Get that balloon. No, get it. Yay. Um, so we posted on Saturday. Oh, wow, it's been too long. I've actually occasionally been poking at the enemy logic for Paint the City, and I think I finally got it in a half-decent state. It's buggy, it's chaotic, but it kind of works. And the <laughs> game is now working. kind of playable. Yeah, I mean, you can play... You can, you can die. You can complete a level by painting the road. It doesn't actually complete the level. Like, nothing happens. But... Uh. In your mind, you can say, I'm done this, I'm done this level. <laughs> um, enemies follow the level. They spawn at different speeds. You can crash into them. Sometimes they behave properly. Sometimes they don't. And bullet collisions are still not implemented. But I really just wanted to show off my title screen. <laughs> it ended up looking better than I expected. It does look, it does look good. It's nice, it does look good. It's yeah. nice font. Chaotic like the grill, the D train says. Punny, punny, punny. I think I got it yeah. all. I think, I think you did. I got it all. So. Hey, kitty. Oh, you've got zero F uh, oil. <laughs> Number of oil cans. <laughs> oh, you're back. Rip wrapped around to one, one zero oil cans. Nice. Is it called 10 in hexadecimal? Can you say 10? Or do you have to say one zero? Because you say one F and one E. Don't hit the pic. Don't hit Pixel. Oh, oh Pixel it Cat. Is Pixel. Oh. Speaking of that. Oh yeah. Oh, Are earlier, you gonna try and entice some kitties? Earlier, before the show, all she did was this. I touched the. I, t I went like this. Just this. And and Atari came running downstairs. <laughs> kitties. Oh. <laughs> People say 10, but it's not quite right. You need to say hex 10. Hi. Oh, you're sleeping. There you go. Ring the bell. Oh, he's so blinky and squinty. Aww. It's like, uh, uh, I want treats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> first try. Oh my God, that was good. <laughs> this one. Bling. <laughs> see, if, see if the black and white cat comes down. Yeah, he will eventually. So great updates mm -hmm. to paint the city. It mm -hmm. is paintable. You can die in the game, pretty much like score and just levels. Saying that you've ended the level yeah. and making all the levels. Yeah. And um, the bullets working. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pixel, you're in this game. Come here. You're a black cat in this game. So. I just squished you with my Honda. Come on, Pixel. Pixel. Come on. Come on. Oh, he has to ring the bell. Okay, so <laughs> next game is Immunity. This is a brand new game by uh, Mike Losh, and he sent me the pronunciation of his name. Okay. So I wouldn't mess Losh? up. Mike Losh. Okay. <laughs> AKA Soul. S O H L. He is in the chat. Hey, Mike. Oh, Hi, Mike. Uh, so let's switch. Oh, back to that. Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you got the cat on there. Yeah. <laughs> I have to get the graphic up. Because I make all these carts, cart graphics. There we go. Oh. They can't hear us when I switch to that. Uh, okay, so it's time for immunity. Yeah, hey. This is first posted March 28th, and this is the March 28th version of it as well. It's an 8K F8 game. Um, he's made uh, one other game, 2048 uh, underscore 4 VCS. And it's one of those 2048 games mm. where you collide the 2 and the 2 and it makes a 4. Collide the 4s together makes an 8. You've played those games. Before. Yep. yep. Um, this You can download this in the Atari Age forums. Good kitty! Um, so, uh, load it up. <laughs> it's it's almost as if he's like why isn't the treat appeared on the ground <laughs> yeah, in front yeah, of me yeah the bell makes materialized. 
He says, so I'm reintroducing myself because I have changed my account name from M. Lockmore to Soul. I did this because Soul is a name I used with some other online communities and I wanted to have a consistent brand going forward. Yeah, very good music. It's very hard to make good Atari 2600 music. You have to work within the confines of the notes that are available. Kind of out of tune notes. Wow, the 2600 is singing well there. Yes. Yeah, it is very good music. Okay. Um, yeah, you might be up for a nomination for a best audio. That's really good music. Atari is expressing his pleasure. Um, okay. That's enough for him. <laughs> uh, so. Should I start? Um, yeah, start up. I, I was able to catch on pretty quick without the instructions, but I will read the instructions as you go. Shoot the things, and then press up to capture them after you've shot them. So we're playing on easy mode right now. Do I have to, what do I have to do? Press up, Oh. then go get it, then press the button. There oh, we go. Okay. That's the basics. Um, he says, I'm back with a new homebrew game where you... F oh, he's being teased now. Hi, sweet. Sweet kitty. No, it's all done. Sorry, I'm ringing it. Um, we fend off a viral infection to hopefully build immunity. You play the role of parts of the human immune system, mm. in which you can fling antibodies from a ribosome. And if you neutralize an infecting virus, you can detect a microphage to gobble it up. Very nice. Direct a microphage. But watch out, if any virus finds its way to your cell membrane, it can find a place to latch on, and it will increase the viral load and decrease your health. That is very, very cool. That's very funny. Clear enough, <laughs> clear enough viruses from one tissue type, and, and your point of view will switch to another. In this sequence, lung, mucous membrane, bone, muscle, brain, and artery. Oh, that's how. Oh, you just got it. <laughs> nom nom nom. I didn't realize I could shoot through the membrane. I thought I had to it's... wait to dodge it. Oh no, it slows you down. Oh, come on. Oh, you're gonna, you're, it's gonna get you. It's gonna latch on. I didn't realize. I was... Oh, oh it's latched on. Can't get it now? Nope. Oh. Leave it alone. Don't bother. It's too late. You've increased your viral load. <laughs> uh, with each tissue type, you'll find the virus... One at a time. You'll find your the virus mobility differs, adding challenge to your task. In this demo version of the game, you gain some antibodies <laughs> each time you clear a virus and additional antibodies each time you clear a tissue type. Completely clearing all infection viruses before you run out of antibodies to win immunity. But if you run out of antibodies with the infection still present, or your health drops to zero, you're at 67 right now, there's deathly game over. Deathly game over. What happened? Oh, you I died. was, I didn't even, I wasn't even looking at my score. <laughs> start again. Very nice. Take care lining up the antibody shots as the cell membrane pores continually cycle between being wide open and more closed. Sophie Rose uh, Music says, cool games, game concept. It really is. <laughs> it's really, really great. Um, the demo work in progress version of the game is an 8K ROM that I hope to hope you enjoy and help me improve by reporting bugs, gameplay issues, or ideas for the future. I do have a few ideas to already add flourishes to the title screen and the main gameplay screens in the demo version. I also have ideas for a full version of the game with a second gameplay mode with different kinds of action and strategy. Eventually, if this comes together as I envision, I hope it will be worth making available as a box cartridge with a printed manual here through Atari Age. It's off to a very good start and has a lot of things going for it. Oof, just missed. You can't shoot till it's off I the know. screen. It's one of those games where you have one shot at a time. Oh, nom, so nom, far nom. Away. I don't know if I can sit there forever. While you shoot another one, or not? What? what is that there? He, was off. he was off to the side a bit more. No reset ver via fire button? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to try it next time. Oh, no, I did. oh yeah, yeah, no, I don't think so. You had to reset it, didn't you? Yep. No reset via fire button. <laughs> You're going to get chastised. 
Uh, controls. Immunity uses the left joystick. Press fire, as prompted in the title screen, to begin gameplay. Get a point for that. <laughs> Move the cell's ribosome left or right with the joystick. Press fire to fling an antibody up. Hope. So you had, I think you have limited antibodies. Yeah, it's the green line. There. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. You have to wait until he comes back a bit. There you go. Okay, so you're almost done this level. Get a little bit more to go. Oh, last one. Good, you made it. Oh, and your health goes back up to 100? I'm not sure. I haven't checked, been watching. Um, hopefully striking a virus and neutralizing a portion of its outer spikes, which will change color from dark red to yellow to indicate neutralization. Viruses have six zones of spikes. Hitting a virus when it's farther from the cell membrane will cover more of the zones with one antibody shot. Three zones for the furthest, two zones for the mid... Oh, you won the whole game? <laughs> and that is how you defeat coronavirus. That's right. <laughs> Community one! <laughs> reset via this console switch. Yeah, then fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta make it reset here. <laughs> Reset here. Making me uh, get up. <laughs> the old man. Are you resetting? Or are you uh, doing something else? I can reset for you. Yep. Are you going to play for a bit? I'm just running. Yep. And then reset. you can. Yep. Do it. <laughs> so. Trying to figure out. Even those little. Um, Things in the middle slow you down, so if you accidentally hit those, well, it's either fast or slow, it looks like. So you really want to get those at high, as high up as you can. Oof. No! And once it's slow, it takes forever to go off the screen. Oh, no. So your green line is how much... Go, 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 go. How many antibodies you have left? I'm going to get all the terminology wrong here. Ugh. It's really... Like, you have to really pay attention to where you're shooting through. Because it can be fast or slow. Oh, now, they're, now I'm really behind. So now it's going to be slow. Oh, it's going to be fast. There we go. Get that. Fast. Yeah. Fast again. Fast again. Good. Oh, that was a good one. It's way up there. Fast. Fast. Oh, nice. Yeah, you definitely want to get them way up top. Ugh. Mess. Come on. Oh, it still comes towards you. Um, I'm going to try and just leave one. Just when it's already covered. Because that way it, it should... Maybe it still poses a threat. I'll leave one when it's really close to me. Oh, misses. So many misses. Come on. Oh, got him. Slow. Rage reset. Who knew all it took was a 26 hard. Slow. Catching, catching some corona there. I am. In the right way. <laughs> Do you want to read the instructions? Continuing oh, on. Where, where did you get to? Controls? It, a bit into controls. Remember the cell membrane. Where are we? When a virus is completely neutralized and all spikes are yellow, push up on the joystick to switch control to the macro Too stage. slow. I won the game. <laughs> now I'm going to put it on hard mode. Oh, there's a hard mode. Okay. Yep. Excellent. for it. So we're both able to win in easy mode first time. Ah. Actually, you died once, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. Oh my goodness, I hate that. <laughs> this uh, is harder. Da, 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 da. Uh, oh. A flung antibody will be slowed dramatically. If it hits a mem membrane or solid parts of the surrounding tissue, you cannot fling another antibody. <laughs> la, 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 la. 
when a virus is completely oh, neutral when a virus is completely neutralized and all spikes are yellow push up on the joystick to switch to control to a microphage which will align vertically with the virus then use the joystick to direct the microphage left or right towards the virus Lord. the microphage will chomp as it moves which is very cool it's like a little uh, little pac-man dude oh no uh, if you engulf and trap the virus by positioning the microphage directly over it, press the fire button, completely dissolve the virus, and automatically switch back to the ribosome. Or if you choose, you can switch back to the ribosome without clearing the virus, yet by pulling the joystick down. Game supports beginner or advanced game options via the left difficulty switch. In the beginner mode, viruses move significantly slower, and there are fewer viruses per tissue overall to clear. Uh, the reset switch will directly take you back to the title screen. Scoring. Whether you've won immunity or met an untimely death, when the game is over, the screen will alternate between the title title screen and the game over screen and the final game screen gameplay screen, which will allow you to see what the final health level was and how many breaths you took before winning or losing. Breaths. Oh. Oh. He's almost there. Oh, oh, you died. Oh, that was a lot harder. You took 106 breaths. 107. Oh, you have to reset. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> 108. What is, it just keeps going up. Funny. Even after game over, the numbers continue. Yep. Oh, good night, people that need sleep. Um, <laughs> the breath count is based on time, but when you run out of antibodies, your health percentage is added to your breath tally. Oh. Health starts at 96%. Oh, so you're never at full health. Um, uh, each time is a tissue is cleared up to a maximum of 99. Rises each time a tissue is cleared. Okay. Each time a virus latches onto a cell membrane, health is lost. Up to of three viruses will latch into a tissue type. Each latch virus will replicate into four additional viruses when the tissue type switches. Mm. So, the worse you play the harder the next level is. Oh, come on. So you get f four times as many... <sighs> oh, they're dodgy. Oh, are they bouncing off of those? It's very cool that they're multicolored. Like, they've got gray inside of them, and then they've got the red on the outside until you hit them with the... Ah, uh, there you go. You can leave that one and go get the other one. Why? Isn't because it going it... to kill you? Nope. Oh, it says Lord. it won't kill you. Oh. oh. Not really bouncing. Okay. It just appeared that it was. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, I'm one dead. more and you're dead. I'm dead. Oh, you haven't even hit that uh, one. I hate it. I hate it. I hate how... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm screwed. If if you miss him, you'll it it will get you. Just don't miss. Yeah, I know. No kidding. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Survive. One more. Oh no, you missed on a slow one. Mm -hmm. There. Oh, one more. You have to get it. Four hits. You have to oh. get it. Oh, now I'm really dead. Oh, that's so smart. What he's done. It is... gets harder the closer they get to you, right? So. He has replicated the viruses. Done it. Oh, no. too, too late. Slow. Try. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so I'll write that paragraph. All right. Other gameplay notes? Oh, I have to get up. Oh. <laughs> you can fling antibodies through around latched viruses. Completely neutralized viruses cannot latch onto the cell membrane. Oh, so once you do hit it, then you, you can leave it. Let it yeah. sit. Okay. Yeah, that's good to know. Only one virus can sweep across the cell membrane at a time looking for a, a latching site, so if a second virus is present, it will not fully descend until the first virus is either Dance. eliminated or latches on. Yeah, so I didn't need to go after it. I could have gone after the other one. Yeah, when you're in trouble, you well, don't have to do it yet. Oh, oh my god. They randomly just change directions. Usually yeah, when there you go. Now, so now it can go. See, this, it, this makes more sense to do that, yeah. So you don't have to do it right away. No. Oh no, no, no. That makes sense. Uh, oh, see, that's what kills you, because depending on what uh, part of the membrane it goes through, it, yeah. it throws off your shot, right? Uh, that's very good. 
It's good because it, it makes it uh, um, a little bit randomy. A little randomy, yeah. Oh no. Oh. Well, that makes a big so you difference. have to be very strategic when you shoot, and if it hits one of those gray ones, um, whatever they are, gray kind of, play it, field, it moves around. Yeah, it slows down as well. Yes, it does. Oh, that one's. Oh, it stopped. Oh, interesting. What? Do I get unlimited time? I don't think it can get past. Like We're another one's not coming balls. down. So if I leave one down there at all times, I can just be cool and. Oh, ah. oh, and the other one just disappeared. Well, you you made it to the next. I guess you got the points. You oh, come on, come on, come on. Yep. Look at that. Is that a bug? You only get two at a time. Well. You get more when they latch, though, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So. But it, it now doesn't... I have like unlimited time to get this guy. Do you? What You're is... running out of antibodies, though. Don't you always have unlimited time? Get the other one. There you go. But is but is there a penalty for um, just letting it sit there and protecting myself? Well, right now it's going to kill you, so... Oh, oh you ran out of health. Oh! You ran out of health. So I have to eat them to keep... Well, once it's on your member and your health starts to go down, right? Oh, look, I'm, am I still playing? You're still playing, but your game's over. <laughs> See? That's weird. Yep. <laughs> so you can continue uh, playing, but your game is over. Interesting. That's very cool. Interesting. Mm. I really like it. It's very hard at the hard level. I really like the style of it. I love the viruses. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, you can't just leave them hanging around because you get penalized. I think. It seemed like I was getting penalized for not eating them. Mm. Like I was dying. Because they're still affecting me, my mm. health. Yes, 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 yes. Ugh. So what's he saying about the game? Full version will have an inside the cell play mode that will be different. Cool. So oh. like like an alternating, it it will alternate to a different stage. Is that the idea? Like a diff, totally different look to it. Very cool. Yes, back and forth from outside to inside. That's cool. That's very cool. good thing about when they're at the bottom is that they're really easy to hit. Yes. But you have to hit them more times. You probably yes. noticed that. Ah, what? You don't have to get it right away. It seems I die if I don't. Like, no, really quick. No, if, if he binds the membrane, I think you're you're in big trouble. Oh. Yeah, yeah now you're in big trouble. Your health's gone down significantly. Uh, oh, that slow one went up the screen. No, I'm dead. I'm so dead. So dead. Oh, dead. Dead. Very dead. <laughs> you can see um, when you shoot, because the, the, your shots are like... Um, Go for the other one. Oh, I'm going to die if I don't kill this no, one. No, he just takes a chunk of your health out. No, four is death, right? As no. As the fourth is one matches on, yeah. No, it's already going to latch on, so... There. See, they start coming for you the moment you remove it from that area now now your health's down to zero uh, i can't yeah. yeah that one was pretty good that was good yeah hard is good hard is a challenge one more for you it's it's about the right length of a game it's very good it's not too not too long it's high action <laughs> Goodness. Implementation notes. As mentioned before, this is an 8K ROM using the simple F8 bank switching scheme. As I hoped, 
I had hoped uh, to keep it 4K but ran out of space before I even had the title end screens and sound. Gameplay is in the high bank and the title ending screens are implemented in the lower bank. Moving the score digit prep routine to the low bank helped open up a lot of space to finish up the game logic and sound effects. Viruses are drawn with both player sprites in order to have the grayish virus body and red yellow viral spikes. That makes sense. Because your character doesn't overlap at the same time until you turn into the Pac-Man type dude. Um, but you're the same color as the inside of it. Very, very cool. Uh, the two moving viruses are kept separate vertical strata. Interlace flicker is oh, used he, when the microphage is active. He didn't even go back and forth. Oh, he just latched He just right latched on. on immediately. Very random. Very random, which is good. So is it supposed to be like that, though? I thought he was supposed to latch on. He gives you some time sometimes. Sometimes he doesn't. Oh, no, my goodness. It's really fast. Very fast. It's a bit of screen jump there. Oh, my goodness. Um... Almost dead. Last dead. viruses are drawn with the player Ooh. replication. Oh, that was a quick game. That was a really quick game. <laughs> um, oh, there's so much information here. But it says, special thanks to Daryl Spice Jr. for code excerpts such as the score prep routine and object positioning routine, Dwayne Allen Hand for publishing Andrew Davies tutorials, and a lot of the great material, including sound and music info for the 2600. One voice is used for heartbeat, lub and dub sound. Oh, I don't hear that. Oh yeah. The, the, the. Very cool. I don't know if that comes through on this on the stream. Um The main title theme music and short win and lose music flourishes are implemented with two voices and have a bass and lead part or simple two note art intervals. And the uh oh. This title screen music is really, really well done. This game's got soul. <laughs> Chat definitely has... A sense of humor? <laughs> their puns down pat. And a sense of humor. <laughs> Vitoko says, cool game concept. It really it is. is. It looks really good. And the opening and closing is... Wow, you don't get much open now anymore, do you? What's... Oh my god. <laughs> Just attacked it. So, at the end of each round, I think the hearts are added to the score on the right? I still don't oh understand goodness. the score completely yet. Why is it... Why am I dying? Just because two are attached? I'm not sure. I thought it was It just starts four. to go down? Or is it because my antibodies have oh, disappeared? It's, oh, it's your heart that goes down to zero. That's when this game over. No, no, but it doesn't tick down. It just suddenly becomes zero. So mm -hmm. I think my antibodies go to zero and then... Uh, is that what it said? When your antibodies go to zero? I had I missed too many missed shots? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's it was, what it said. There's a lot of things going on. Yeah. I'm not entirely certain. Play one more while she figures that out. No, health starts at 96 and rises each time a tissue is cleared up to a maximum of 99. Each time a virus latches, health is lost. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm missing every time. Come, oh my god. Hmm. Yeah, if you have no antibody, so you can't fight anymore. So you you run out of antibodies, you you just immediately die. Oh, okay. So that's why I was like, why am I immediately dying? It's because I missed too many shots. You missed too many shots, oh. you run out of antibodies, and, and that's and, it. And after you eat one, you your antibodies go up again? You get, you get... I, I think when you go, I don't know, when you go to tissue, to the next tissue level, I think you get a new round, but you have to pass the level. Right? So you keep losing antibodies. Yeah, because I'm throwing them away. Yeah. Nope, it goes back up. Your antibodies? Yep, it went back up. After yeah, but if it goes to zero, then you're yes. screwed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you do get a bunch back. Yeah. But I just changed levels, ah. which goes to ninety-nine. Now. So there's multiple deaths possible in this. Oh. Multiple ways to die. So you can leave it on the screen if your antibodies if don't go down and your heart doesn't go down. So you have to watch both of those. 
so that you're not in trouble. See, it's all I'm going down. Mm. In the oh. in the full version, you will need to do stuff inside the cell to generate the antibodies. That makes oh. sense. So I better get both of those. I need my boost. I need a boost. Mm. There you go. Nice. See, these ones are easy. So this level, they come straight down, and they're a lot easier. The ones that go side to side. Oh, you're gonna die. See, yours is going back and forth a lot more than I. The last couple that I was playing, they came down and it just attacked you immediately. They just dot. They just ah. latched immediately. No. Ah. No. I think they latch faster when. Uh... Well, maybe not. Probably depends on this the tissue type, right? Yeah. I'll give you more time. Oh, now you've no antibodies left. Oh, it yep. just missed. Oh, you're gonna die. Oh, you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. That's I awesome. I may have some bug in the latch timing. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, because... Uh, Where yours was like, boom, It boom, was like, boom. hey, <laughs> you didn't even give me a chance. That but was, it's very cool. I really like that it. That was really, really, really cool. Yeah, concept yeah. is good. And like the different... How, how you're bad guy acts differently at the bottom and you have to pay attention to a lot of things yeah, going on on the screen it's really good yeah. thanks mike very cool mm -hmm. um so we have i believe one more game left it is robot zed and it is spelled z-e-d <laughs> somebody was making comments in the forums about robot z are you going to rename it to robot z mm -hmm. no 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 robot zed only in the U.S. do they say Z. Rest of the world, it's Zed. Um, so this started uh, in 2014, this game. He per began programming it, and he first posted about it in December 7th, 2017. So he's been working on it for quite a while, mm. long time. But it is a Mega Man-type game, and it's a really cool concept. Mm. Um, and it's a bigger game, so I have to play it on the Uno cart, because the Encore part of my 2600 mm -hmm. or the on car part of the harmony cart does not play well with my 2600 and certain other 2600 so that's okay i've got a backup plan okay so robot zed go for it this build is from march 29th 2021 oh, actually i think this is actually newer than that no i think so Go up to the top. Today's date, 2021-0330. Okay. Uh, 64K EF. Uh, other games. Uh, he made Princess Rescue. Mm. Uh, Zippy the Porcupine. And now mm. Robot Zed. So he's fairly infamous <laughs> for doing high-profile ports. Very nice. Um, you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Nice. Um, and we last played this June 19th, 2019. And I believe he completely reworked the game. Okay. Um, so this is playable. There's there's like a um, first demo stage almost. And then you're able to do a full stage after that. And there is a boss in this game. So go for it. Yes, it was great, Mike. Thank you so much. So this is your home base. Let's press the button. So just like um, the other oh, game... So there is a jump and a fire. Up is fire. Or up is jump. What is it? What? Oh, you're getting hit. Oh, I'm getting hit? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, like Mega Man, you can, you can get other abilities. This is so crazy. It moves so fast. It's a very fast moving robot. <laughs> I don't. I can't figure out how to shoot. Well, it's either button or up. Yeah, but. Well, just stay away from the robot and oh, practice I see. your fire. Oh, I see. No, no, no. I get it. <laughs> You're like going head on, and I, I can't shoot. I can't shoot. Well, I can well. barely turn. <laughs> up, press up, Marco says. Um, says, finally, after many, many hours of programming, debugging, problem solving, experimenting, designing, etc., I finally released the latest playable beta of Robot Zed. 
full game is also close to being completed as well. I decided to release a beta version that allows you to play two levels that I've tested many, many times feel comfortable releasing. You can play the introduction level and one of the re eight regular levels. The regular level you can play is Iceland. And once you get a new power, I'll show you how to get it, use it. I don't know if you have that power yet. So just like uh, Mega Man, the white ones are for health. You can see on the bottom, your health is seven. That guy's got a shield. You have to shoot him when he uh, doesn't have a shield up. And you've got zero power-ups for this item. Press down and fire to use the power-up. Yeah, I don't know if she has one yet, so she should have one there. Okay, now stop. Mm. Press down and the fire button. Now you'll change to his weapon. And you've got 10 ammo of that guy's weapon. Mm. Which, that guy didn't seem to do much different. Uh, oh. Get out of the way of that. You've got three health left, oh, two no. health left. And that guy's weapon would be very useful because it fires down. So if you have an enemy that's oh, be below you... I didn't you, realize he was hitting me. <laughs> if you have an enemy that's below you, you can actually shoot down at an enemy, right? Yep. Yeah, that guy didn't seem to give his power, but I don't know why you'd want that. Unless it's powerful because it's so slow. And you can see his... Uh, Try and fire? Yeah, it seems the same. You're not firing his weapon. Hmm. Interesting. And you can see his health, which is the red bar mm -hmm. in the bottom right. I love the shield. Where he can protect himself. Ah! That's because you have his shield power. How do you activate shield? You're still seeming to be able to get hit. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I ain't got yellow. What does that do? Oh, kind of bounces along. <laughs> Hitting your head. Yeah, he's very fast. Moving. He, it's very pers ah. It's, it's, he's very hard to control. See, I don't, I'm not trying to jump up there. There you go, now you're safe. Oh. No, you don't jump. Actually, that's a perfect weapon to get him. It just bounces along. Groovy music. Yeah, very good music. So just recently, he, oh. he, I, um, I was talking about the, the game because he released it and um, it had a lot of screen shake, but he was able to eliminate almost all of the screen shake. Um, he's still got a little bit here and there, but it's it's very playable now on um, on an LCD screen. Oh, yep, spray bugs in the chat. It's automatic when it's selected. You only lose one hit point. Oh, okay. Uh, when hit by a projectile and four power points, but it doesn't protect against running into the robot or explosion. Okay. So that is a shield. In case you happen to get hit, it doesn't completely shield you, but it reduces your the amount that you get hurt. Mm. So it's not a bad one to have on all the time, actually. The red one. Oh. So you don't get hurt as much. You've got lots of health now. Mm. Do you have that power up, the red one? I don't know how to change it. So. Oh, down in the button. No, nope. you, you just. I think you have to kill it and then change it right away. Uh, the moment you kill, the moment you capture something else, you seem to lose the power that you had. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, because hmm. that's what happened. I swear, I no, I played this and you get all the powers. You're out of power points. Oh, that's right. You can't change without power points. Okay, oh. that's why. Ah, ah. Ah. Thank you, Spry Bug. <laughs> He's bouncy. Oh, ah. do it after he shoots. Well, I know that. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's no power, so it... Nothing. He didn't give you anything. He didn't drop me. No. Gotcha. 
Um, okay, I fixed many of the bugs that was in the last release, worked on a lot of different aspects in them. So you can no longer exit to the top or bottom of the level, instead you progress by going right, and the new section of the level will scroll you in once you reach the end of the section. Once you progress far enough, you'll reach the boss that you'll have to defeat. The game still has rogue elements, roguelike elements to it. With the limited amount of ROM space there is, you'll notice some repeating patterns, but it'll be different in parts every time you play. Now you've got some power. So I think it was yellow. The it red. Be red, right? Well, there's different ones. Ah! So you can pick different. Uh, there you go. Now you've got shield. Very helpful. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Is he? Oh. Yeah. It's like Super Mario One. <laughs> you can't. You can go back can't a go bit, back. but not too much. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes they won't. They will automatically if you don't have their power. Oh, so they'll automatically drop it if you don't have their power already. So you already had that guy's power. Oh, so he won't drop his power, which which makes sense. So I can go like that, yellow, and then yeah. red. Red, white. Yeah. Hmm. Neat. Uh... With a limited amount of ROM space there is, you'll notice... Oh, okay. The first level, base area, which you're in, uh, is the introduction level to get you familiar with the gameplay. Your robot base has been taken over, and you have to regain control over it. This is why, if you lose all your energy in this oh. level, you will start over since you don't have the access to your energy rejuvenation machine. Oh. Ah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you can just run by. Uh, once you beat the boss here, you will have regained control of your base and will have access to all of its functions. The next mission is to rescue all of your robot eight, all eight of your robot friends in eight different lands. But in the beta release, you'll be able to play just be able to play Iceland. Once you defeat and re that and rescue your robot friend there, your game will restart. Game controls: regular joystick, left and right moves, up shoots, action button jumps, down ducks and puts you in power change mode. Down an action button will change to your uh, next available power. Um, in this release, uh, oh, boss time. The uh, Genesis controller has been disabled. Big boss. Big chunky boss. Oh, oh, you jumped right over. Nice. Ooh. Oh, three left. Ah. Uh, he's flashing. Ah, oh. I figured that would happen. <laughs> That's yeah, really the death cool. animation is great when he f goes backwards and, and kind of fades. It's awesome. Ah, uh, Sprybug. It'll be easier to play once I figure out what's wrong with the Genesis controller routine. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you have two buttons. Can't change without po power pellets. Ah. ah. This is really cute. You're a Mega Man fan. I haven't played a lot of Mega Man games. Yep. I need to play more, but I... I Mega Man's great. It's a yeah. great platformer. One of the best ever made. I'm surprised I haven't played more Mega Man games, to be honest. But, yeah, um... I've got all of them. <laughs> oh, not the SNES ones. I have the NES ones. Mm. Um... There we go. Mm. Ah, no! No. Yeah, the control. Oh, oh no. no! The control is very finicky. Very fast. Very fast. But if you get used to it, it's it's not too bad. Good. You just have to know that it's fast. Mm. Thought I recognized the scrolling from Princess Rescue and Zippy. Uh -huh. Well, why not? Why not keep using it? Uh, do I have a good? See, this is one. Oh, I only have two powers. See, this one would be a good yeah. one for one that bounces, because mm. he's on a lower shelf. But you didn't catch him. I'm just going to jump over him. Yeah, just shoot, shoot, shoot. There we go. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, huge health. Oh, my God. That is exactly what I needed. Come on, boss time. Oh. may have to implement one more game cycle to slow down the gameplay so it's not so fast. By doing it this, though, it should fix the scanline count, too. 
Oh, good. good deal. Looks like a giant olive. Yeah. What? That your, big one? Yeah. For your giant ah, martini. <laughs> oh, 40 now. This is perfect. It's very cute. Super cute. Oh, boy. I don't think I have any. This is yeah, that's the bouncy bouncy. It's the wrong way. Do I go back here and be? Oh, nice. 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 That's how you use the weapons. Oh, he's got a... Everything moves as fast as it does because I have to scroll by four pixels because that's just how the play field on the Atari 2600 and that's And that's fat, fine. Yeah. It's just his movement is very, very fast. Quick, yeah. And his jumping is very fast too. Yeah. So if that was slowed down just like just a little bit. I think that would make it a little easier to yeah. control for sure. You can, <laughs> you can see. But the scrolling of the of the screen is totally yeah. fine. Like the four pixel. Yeah. I mean, there's been a lot of games yeah. where there's play field scrolling, and if you if you scroll it fast enough, it's like eh, it's totally fine. Mm, I don't like that. Guy. No. <laughs> He's just hard He's to. He's hard to get past. Yeah. Ooh, fifty-four. You got Ooh, ten. It's boss time you now. You got ten. Yeah, I don't have any superpowers right now. You have the pink one, don't you? Did yeah, I don't want to use it one? up because I need to, to use mm. some of the boss. I think you should you should use the bouncy one on the boss. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Ah! Oh, two! Or... Oh, I have zero now. Mm. And I have zero. Zero? <laughs> yeah, but I have lots of health. It gives so. you a bunch of power pellets, though. Do you not have a special thing you can turn ah. into? Nope. Nothing. Oh, really? I lost it all. How did you lose it all? Just by getting hit. Really? Yeah, getting hit seems to deplete your uh, power. Damn it! He is challenging. <gasps> Yay! First boss defeated. <laughs> so now we made it to the computer. Nice. Very nice. That is so. So we've cute. seen this part in other demos. Mm. And I, unless he's changed some stuff, we've, we've... So I don't think you can do anything here. I think you can just go to. Let me try transfer. Ooh. Oh, look at that. You can transfer health to power-ups. To power points. Uh, I don't want to do too much. Because I like just having that shield. Mm -hmm. I just so maybe... Four. That's cool. So that's active now. Mm. That wasn't before. Um, so, Robo. No, I'm not sure what this is. But it's nothing right now. Mm -hmm. So, now we can go... Now there's the Ice Zone, Mine Zone, Lava Land, Junkyard, Robo City, Seaway, Sandland, Skyway, all the classics. Yeah. You know, you gotta have water, gotta have sand. <laughs> gotta have gotta lava. Have, gotta have be in the air. Gotta be underground. Junkyard, cool, Robo City. I noticed they're all gray, so I'm assuming there's just level one. You only have ice zone, ice right, zone now, right now. On the demo. Yeah. On the demo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I think he's implying that the demo will still only have Iceland. Okay. And when you buy the full game, you'll, have, no, you'll, you'll get open all up to all eight oh, of them. that's cool. Yeah. So, now we're gonna take our first look at ice zone. Have a, didn't we just come from my son? No, that was like practice time. Oh. That was base base zone. Base zone. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, it's all slippery. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. It's a turtle. What, what was that, dude? Oh, I've got some power now. So now I'm gonna put myself. In. Oh, I've got. What is he? What does he do? Oh, <gasps> yo, yo yo yo. Did I get it back? Yeah. Did I lose? No, no, you lose it. Ah, oh, I used it up. I'm all slippery. I can't even duck down properly. I don't have red. Oh, he'd reset. Yeah. But there's a red guy. He's not shooting at this. Haha. Uh -huh. Maybe I need to get him on the screen a bit more. There we go. There we go. Need that? Ah, oh, good. Now I have shield. With 18, which is good. Oh, it's a bat! It's 
got fly. Mm. And this is cool because it's constantly scrolling. Mm. The other one was kind of a little bit of room to room. Go That's your rescued robot buddy's hold. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess you just want to shoot them before they shoot you. Yeah. Okay. Before they fly. Whoa! Nice white. Nice screen white. Oh, uh, uh, uh. A little bit of jitter here. Mm -hmm. Not too bad, though. So slippy. So slippy! <laughs> Come on, go over. Uh, no. You are just... Oh, my goodness. You're just danger. Ow! Yes. Oh. oh, kill him! I, uh, damn it! Missed my opportunity. But, got health, so. So it's only slippery on the ice. I love the ice there. Mm -hmm. It's so awesome. So sometimes there's ice, sometimes there's not. Oh boy. I don't have any powers. I have green? What was his? Uh, nothing. Shoot it, shoot. Is that the boomerang one? Yeah, so that's not gonna help. I'll just stay on the red. Sh shield. Try and hop over him. Ugh, that was unsuccessful. <laughs> There's no way I could get him there. Oh, ah! Damn it, get up right up, up against him. Yeah, as long as you stay there, you're actually okay. I love his bounciness. So cute. Oh! Did he explode? I have power! Oh, I don't know what that was. No, I don't think Did I get hurt? Yes, you did. Oh, because I was next to him? When he exploded. When he died? Then let's go back here and shoot from here. Damn it, it's so slippery. How about that, eh? Yes, he explodes. Look at how my health is gone now. Yeah. Damn it. But I've got his power. No, I don't. Yeah. That is? Yellow, yeah. yeah. Shoot. Nice. But I used up a lot of energy. But it was necessary for that one. They haven't woken up. Did I get hurt there? No. No, get it, get it! Oh, Just ten. in time. I'm like, don't let it sit there. <laughs> you can use get the boomerang through walls. Oh, okay. Damn it. What are you doing? Well, I have to be up next to him to shoot him or I get hurt, I know. so... This guy, at least you can just pick away at him. Yeah. He's got a shield, but... Just, just keep Just keep shooting. shooting. Shield. Oh, no. It's red, right? It's very powerful too, the ones that I'm out of. Yeah. Out of bullets oh, or no. out of special powers. Oh, I don't think I can hit that. Too late. Oh no, boss time. Oh no. And I'm out of special again. Oh, same boss. Different look. Oh my god, now it's falling icicles. That's just what I needed. Ow. Yes! <laughs> oh, five health left. Hooray! Oh, my buddy! Hey! Hey, dude! Come with me! Nice! Nice teleportation there. Very nice. Awesome job, Sprybug. Mm -hmm. That is great. That is really, really, really fun. Um, Want to play again? Or no. you're good? You're no, good. you, 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 you uh, flew through those levels. Won the, won the game. Yeah. Yeah. Or at least the level. Um, yeah, that's really awesome. Great power-ups, great um, uh, weapon system. Yeah. Um, good variety of enemies. A variety of shots, like uh, special yeah. powers, which is cool. Very, very cool. Uh, watching you play lets me know more tweaking I gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we're here. That's right. <laughs> we're here to enjoy the games and to help out the developers. Because mm -hmm. they can see people play their games in real time. Um, what would I? 
I don't know what I'd cha change about that. I mean, it's great. No, it's great. I would just um, say it's a little, it's a little just quirky. Fast. It's a little just fast. fast. Just slow that down just a tad. Yeah. And it'll be good. Yeah. yeah just the movement. Mm -hmm. Because it just makes hot jumping just a little tough. Like, it's very fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, our poll, which I totally forgot about. Uh, mo 70.4% of people, I can read that now. This is a much better font. Uh, occasional work in progress releases. So okay. people not all check, of them. check in once in a while. They don't wait right to the end. Yeah. Um, but they, they check in every once in a while, see how it's going. Uh, so that's the top one. 14.8% of people in second place wait till it's done. Absolutely mm -hmm. done. Uh, and then in third place, every single release. <laughs> Some dedicated people yep. out there. I thought that was going to be last. Yeah. You thought you'd be the only one in that yeah, category. <laughs> I was not. And in last place, uh, some people only play it when it's like almost near complete. Like gotcha. release candidates. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to deal with bugs. Yeah. I just want to deal with right right at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, very cool. Uh, so today, actually we have a, a secret word. Nobody got it last time. People aren't watching to the end. Nope. That's what happens. Uh, it's too late for your secret word. You're bell. To the bell. There we go. <laughs> There's the secret word of the day. So today we played, well, we looked at movie carts. Super amazing technology. I want to watch Star Wars now. <laughs> <laughs> Start to finish? Yes. Um, yeah. Well, actually, we're, we're going to pop it in after the show and turn up the volume so we can properly hear it mm -hmm. and, and take a look at it. Mm-hmm. And fast forward to our favorite parts. Um, yeah, that is unbelievable um, technology there. What they've, what he's been able to accomplish um, with these, with these <laughs> funny They're movies beautiful. he chose. Right? No, funny, but I mean yeah. for the era. I, I, and we've been tasked to watch Zardoz by uh, the D Train, so we're gonna have to watch that. Not on this format. <laughs> Not no no the the actual movie because I I do want to. It does look ridiculous, which is nineteen seventy four. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it does. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it looks quite interesting. I've seen that made fun of a lot. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. Oh, you have to rewind to the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Played a movie. We did play a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the sound is very good. Like, very good. It's amazing, actually. Way better than I thought. Yeah. The picture is way better than I thought. Yeah. Like, it's... If you have... If you've seen the movie before, you can kind of follow along. You can you can figure out what's going on, which if, is amazing. And if you haven't seen the movie, you can kind of piece it together, probably. Yeah. Like, the visuals are there. Yeah. It's got great color. Um, it's got... It's got 30 frames... Well, 60 frames interlaced. Yeah. Which is way more than I thought it would have. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, unbelievable. Um, so it, it blew me away, my expectations away. Mm. Uh, I thought it was going to be like, okay, but mm. it was like really good. Like, I don't know if they could do any better unless they go to like bus stuffing technology, mm. which can update the, the probably the full screen mm. um, of, as opposed to the 10 across, I think it was 10 times eight. So it was 80 by 262. Mm. Yeah. Which is still pretty good resolution. Um, then we played Doom 2600. It was very early um, version of it. It's got all the things there. Um, needs to add a little bit more sound into it. So, like we went through the list. It's got great, uh, great look to it. You can understand kind of what's going on. Mm. You can see the walls and the enemies. Yeah. Um, paint the city. Great start. That's really fun. Oh, that's going to be so really arcadey kind of fun game and yeah, um, great platformer. That's really yeah, looking yeah. really good. Immunity, awesome. Great. Concept is great. Yeah. The gameplay is great. It's challenging when you flip it to the hard. It's quite hard. Yeah, it gets hard. It's not easy. Easy, we both won. Easy, we both won, and it gets you into the game, and then yeah. you play it hard. You're like, oh my gosh, this is this <laughs> it's is a quite challenge. Quite a bit harder. Yeah, which it, is great because you want to keep playing it, so it pushes you, you to keep playing. And so it's that's a really fast fun. game, so you're not like, oh, I just played two hours, and now I yeah. start over again. Yep. It's, it's very... love it tying into the biological environment. <laughs> yep, that's yep. a fun thing. Being a biology very... major, I I appreciate that. <laughs> yep. Very timely. That's as right. Well, very timely. Uh, I didn't read out the names at the top of the show. 
It's too exciting. No, you just flew through it. That's 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 what happens. <laughs> it happens a lot. When you have something exciting on the show. That's like, true. Oh, I missed things. Yep. Uh, and then we played Robot's Ed just, just then. Excellent. And that is a really awesome. fun platform. Also awesome. Yeah. We uh, have great games today. All of them. Great, interesting. Yeah. Always something to every single one of them. Pushing the limits of the 2600. Really, all of them felt like really unique and modern. Yeah, they did. Everything we did today was like pushing it, you know? Yeah. It's really, really great. Um, Thank you, Marco Johannes. Mm -hmm. We love doing the show. We do. (laughs) Um, So, some big shows coming up uh, for Zero Page. Mm Uh, two Fridays from now, we have the interview or the, um, developer spotlight with Bob DeCrescenzo, Bob DeCrescenzo, um, Pac-Man Plus, who does all the Pac-Man games, it's a lot of 7,800 games. So we're going to be going through his full repertoire mm-hmm. of games while talking to him about his, uh, all the things he's done, uh, for, uh, development and all the games he's made. And I'll, I'll put a call out for questions pretty soon, because um, it's coming up pretty soon, just over a week away. 12-hour um, show. No, they don't stand for that. <laughs> On Twitch, no? Continuous yeah. continuous. Screening? The developers, they're like... Oh, oh the developers. This <laughs> yeah. is long. What was the longest one? We did like a four and a half, five, five hour Well, we one. did the 12-hour 12, 12 marathon. No, like with an interview. Oh, I don't know. John Shampoo, I think, was... Was pretty long. It's really long. Yeah. And, um... Who oh, knows? yeah, there are a lot of games to discuss. <laughs> there are. I mean, he has Pac-Man collections, so we're, we're going to treat those as, like, one thing. Yeah. If it's on one cart, then it's one thing. Mm. We're not going to go through every single iteration of Pac-Man within that, that collection. But he still has a lot of games even besides that. Mm. A lot of games. Um... It's coming up uh, on Friday. We're going to be playing a bunch of 7,800 games. I may change one of these out for Galaxian because that was just recently released, Mm -hmm. a release candidate one today, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, But what I've got on the roster right now is Worm, Into the Void, uh, Dungeon Stalker, and Get Lost. I really want to play Get Lost. Mm -hmm. And I already said I'm going to be playing Into the Void. Okay. Um, but that's a fast one. So it may be Worm I may be switching out mm, for push Galaxian. Push it for another one, yeah. Just push it forward one. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the developer spotlight. And mm. then I, we were thinking this Saturday would be the special unannounced event. Um, but it's it's not going to happen this Saturday. Mm. It might happen next Saturday. Okay. But there'll be lots of warning about what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, before it comes so don't worry about that i've already made a little teaser for it teaser trailer for it so keep watch out um but i haven't uh, been given the uh green light yet okay to go on that one um then after that uh we're gonna be playing serpentine at some point heart light for the 7800 both of those uh then we're gonna be playing tower of rubble for a high score for the harmony games uh, we're going to be playing Edris way down the road for the 2600 high score showdown season five. And, uh, just before we take a break, we're going to be premiering champ games, new secret homebrew that nobody knows about mm. except possibly Nathan Strom or whichever artist mm. he has gotten on board for, <laughs> for that game. Nice. So, uh, every year it seems to be now tradition. He even said that, yeah. that it's, uh, in May it's, uh, he wants to do like the secret new homebrew every year. <laughs> so we're going to do that again. Mm. Uh, well, that is a good question. Atari 2600 dude. Uh, he says, when is Darcy and Erlen coming back to the show? Yes. Well, as of today, yeah. <laughs> BC, Vancouver, BC, where we live, went into extreme lockdown. For well, an extended lockdown for another three weeks. Yeah, so it's at the highest kind of lockdown we've ever really had. Not the highest, it's, but it's tied for the highest. They've closed all the down all the are... restaurants, um, all the bar. Well, yeah, internal yep. spaces are basically closed. Fitness it, is closed. Any internal space, religious um, things. They've yeah, they've canceled. So we're we're kind of worse than we Locked, were. Lockdown, not really yeah, lockdown. Not really lockdown. Like restaurants 
can do takeout and if they have patios they can stay open yeah we're not allowed um, to travel and the weird thing is about a few weeks ago they said okay people they're now saying people can meet outdoors yep. in groups of 10 and Which they did still... they didn't nope. rescind that they, they didn't but you're only allowed the same 10 now. Yes, but before they weren't even suggesting that. So mm -hmm. yeah, ca yeah, Canada terrible. Their vaccine rollout has been terrible. <laughs> it's like terrible, terrible, drips terrible. Of the yeah, <laughs> drips of vaccine. Here, so, so they're doing this for three weeks. My sincere hope is after three weeks they are vaccinating. So and we just got a ton of vaccination um, shipped, shipped here. Uh, vaccine shipped. So my mm. hope is after three weeks it'll calm down mm. because there's been a spike in cases oh. it'll calm that down and the vaccine rollout will mean things will ease up and then later mm. in the spring hopefully you'll start seeing darcy and Erilyn back and at some point right yep. so uh but we're not i think they've done a really good job in bc with reacting to what's happening so i'm yeah. not necessarily they take a balanced approach. i'm not necessarily mad at the three week lockdown i'm just yeah. hoping that the three weeks just tem like tempers it so that things get better after that so so yeah the u.s has yeah. zoomed ahead of us in terms of vaccines you're 30 percent vaccinated in the u.s which is insane we're it's 10 crazy. in canada we're only at 10 percent an Atari 2600 dude said in Victoria, Australia, they're pretty back, much yeah. back to normal. So Australia and New Zealand is like, what, what lockdown? What, what pandemic? Yeah. They're done. Yeah. I, I, I think, but I think they're all overly cautious here and they have been definitely more here than the States. We've had a yes. lot more lockdowns and there's been more control. So, yeah. um, but I'm fine with the three weeks. I'm just hoping that that is the beginning of the end. That's really, yeah. Yeah. But the vaccines ramp up the and the there's more protection. Yeah. And, and like, I know my, my family, like my parents who are older, who are in their late seventies, um, are getting vaccinated now so yeah. that's good and uh I mean, it's getting to the right people first yeah yeah so so it's it's coming out but friends, i think we're a little are... behind we're a little behind at some other places so yeah. hopefully three four weeks we'll be some friends who better. are uh, like frontline workers have gotten their vaccinations yeah. here yeah. yeah but it has been slow yeah vitoko good for you <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> get that jab get those vaccines <laughs> Every day we're looking for people to give the vaccines. Wow. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's a huge supply now in lots of places and they're trying to get people. It's like, it's open to everyone yeah. over, over 16. Come we, get it. It's been slower to come to Canada. And the reality is, is Canada, we don't produce our own vaccines. No. So it's all about the getting them. the deals that the, the government's been able to do with other countries. Yeah. So if you're American, if you're in the UK, if you're in certain places in Europe, if you're in a country where you're making your own vaccines, you get them first. So yeah. It's just the way it is. But three weeks, hopefully, mm -hmm. it'll be it'll we'll be on an up slope in terms yeah, of... Down slope. <laughs> an up slope For, in health is in what health, I mean. Yes. Yeah, in health. And hopefully you'll start seeing Darcy back again. We do talk, talk to uh, Darcy yep. and you speak yep, to we, Erilyn occasionally. We, and yep. It's so. just online only. Yeah. So, unfortunately. So, we know they're doing well, but we haven't had them. Yep. Not yet. We haven't been jabbed. So, Canada used to be able to produce their own vaccines. Well, Shut it all down. They do have some. Those? They do have some vaccine production, just not just specifically for for. Um, and they're building a facility in Quebec to oh, to produce. For the next time. COVID vaccines. So. Well, for continuous. Like, yeah. We'll always need it. Continuing going on, and who knows how long these last? Could work for six months. You, you may need, need to be jabbed again. Well, that's just it. You may need boosters in the future, right? Every year, probably. And maybe every year, like the flu shot, and then you want to be able to produce your own vaccine to yeah. deal with that. So, anyway, anyway, how did we get on vaccines? But uh, yeah. yeah, so <laughs> just talking about Darcy, Darcy and Erilyn, and yeah. three weeks. Ugh. But anyway, we'll We're see. Used to it. Yeah. Glad she's here to do the show with me. Yeah. What would you do? It'd just be you and the cats. So. Oh, it'd be a terrible show. It'd be a terrible show. <laughs> I miss those guys too. Oh yeah. Yeah, I miss them as well. Yeah, they'll be back. They'll, they'll be. be back. Yeah. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with us once mm -hmm. again. Hope mm -hmm. you enjoyed all the games and the stuff. James would have no one to rage to. Just the cats. <laughs> oh, Pixel and Atari. <laughs> Uh, so thanks for hanging out with us, MK Smith, Sprybug. Uh, thank you, Sprybug, for um, letting us play your awesome new game mm -hmm. and updating it. Arena Foot, 
low def mode thank, thank you. you so much so cool so amazing us with i actually think incredible you game. need to show that to erlin i think it'll blow erlin's mind it will he will love that so we'll pull them out again to show erlin when we finally get him back heavy yeah when we finally get him back Ugh, heavy games yeah. or heavy movies yeah very cool very awesome so thanks for hanging out mike soul spiceware atari 2600 do metal lunar 7 low def yeah. mode mk smith spry bug Rena Foot, Vitoko, uh, MK Smith, uh, Splendid Nut. Oh, these are heavy. <laughs> Marco Johannes, MU Dan. Uh, who else? It didn't say the name of. Oh, oh, did I miss one? No. Uh, Sophie Rose Musics. Mm -hmm. uh, D Train, Kirk Jerk. Dan AVC. Anybody else? Any other names? Oh, Major Lauer. Havoc. Oh, Major Havoc. Yeah. Yep. Lord Howard Hertz. Excellent. And everybody else who watched and didn't yes. say anything and was lurking. Oh, Crossbow. There. Just saw him at the end there. Yeah. Heavy from the billions of bits. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, They're very weighty. Very weighty. <laughs> Those movies are heavy. Um, so we'll be back. Actually, Special time, Friday noon, for all you European watchers who are Woo! watching this on YouTube um, because it's the holiday weekend. I am off work and so very excited so about that. So she is home, so that means we can do it at noon. Yes. Um, noon Pacific, 3 Eastern, 8 GMT, so mm -hmm. you can watch it other than 3 in the morning <laughs> in uh, Europe, so that's yep. good. And um, yeah. So we will see you guys on Friday mm -hmm. and uh, go out there and download all those great games we just played mm -hmm. and enjoy them on your own. And uh, we will see you on Friday. Yes. See you then. Bye-bye.